KO the base here. We lit tonight. Y'all come through, man. Y'all know how we gonna show up and show out. See y'all all in the building. Yo, 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 what's going on with y'all, man? Welcome back to another episode of Knockout Boxing 86 TV. It's your boy, KO. It's your boy, Knockout. Knockout Boxing. Knockout Boxing 86. Whatever you want to call me, I'm here. 50 people in the building early. Smash the like button. Run the likes up. Run the likes up. Hit the super chat. Hit the cash app. Support the channel. Support the grind. Channel members. I did four prediction videos today. All of them are dropping first thing in the morning. I'm dropping them in the morning because y'all know I don't shoot videos on Friday for the most part. So I will have all of your predictions to you first thing tomorrow morning. We got we to gotta do what we need to do for our channel members, and I appreciate each and every one of you. If you're not a channel member and you can hear my voice, just note. That me and the channel members, we get to the money. There's the prediction record right there. 781 fight predictions correct. 135 fight predictions wrong on this channel. We keep a record. Every single prediction video, every single prediction live stream is still posted to the channel. And you don't have to believe me. You don't have to take my word for it. You don't. Cash Crypto is in here. Knight Rider is in here. Rodzilla is in here. Big Supreme is in here. Just ask them how those predictions go on a weekly basis and you'll have your answer. So please join the channel as a member. And please, look at me when I'm talking to you, bro. Let's get to work. Let's get to work, goddammit. Shout out to the homie early. Early in it, bitch. Oh shoot, we got a couple. Hold on. How'd that how'd that happen? Why only one star? But anyway, shout out to my homie Zach B. Five piece. No biscuit in the super chat. He say salute and cook. Shout out to you, Zach B. And shout out to my homie Emmanuel Carter. Five piece. No biscuit in the super chat. He ain't even say nothing. He ain't say nothing. He just dropping that money on their head. Appreciate you, Emmanuel. Please support the channel and support the grind, y'all. Let's go up to the top and see who we got in the building. Crush the legend in the building. Shout out to the whole TWT. All things in the building. Salute to your brother Huey Q in the building. My brother D Free. What's up, D Free? I missed you yesterday, bro. But shout out to my homie D Free, bro. 
Y'all go subscribe to his channel too, man. Keep cooking, keep doing your thing, D Free. Emmanuel Carter in the building. And subscribe to Crush the Legend too. We got a channel. Subscribe to my homie Crush. Emmanuel Carter in the building. What's up? Delil in the building. What's happening with you? Cash Crypto. I see you. Gavin W. What's good? Welcome to the channel. Um, subscribe to the channel if you haven't, Ga Gavin W. We got Savage Bow in the building. What's good with you? The homie Knight Rider is in here. What's happening? Cash Crypto. I see you. My brother in the bit. My homie, man. BFTB, what's up, man? I hope all is well with you, bro. Fire show, as always. You don't need me to say it. Phenomenal show today, man. Rodzilla, what's up, man? H Town in this bitch, man. What's up? Listen to this six foot eight, six foot nine motherfucker, man. Smash the like button when you come in there, ho. One one, what's happening with you? Eric B, what's up? Pearl Infinity, I see you. What's good with you, man? Meaty Riley, what's happening with you? Trey Skills, what's good, bro? Blunt Sports, what's happening, man? Big Supreme in this thing. What's up, Big Supreme? Oh, y'all still arguing about Frank Martin and Shakur Stevenson. Listen, bro. Shakur Stevenson fans, stop the bullshit, bro. You cannot duck Shakur Stevenson to fight Tank Davis. Y'all got to be more flexible. You have, to, you have to think on your feet. You have to understand... What's going on? I was with y'all. Frank Martin was a duck to me, too, when he first pulled out of his agreement with Shakur Stevens. But the man pulled out and instead is fighting a more dangerous fighter who is going to offer him way more notoriety, win, lose, or draw, who is going to offer him way more money, and who also will offer him a shot to become a world champion and... He's not fighting for a vacant. He's defend, He's going to try to take the belt from the current champion and current belt holder. It's a better fight in every sense of the word. If Shakur Stevenson had did the same thing, y'all wouldn't be calling him a duck, bro. And that's my biggest issue. If Shakur Stevenson and Frank Martin had agreed to the fight, and Shakur Stevenson pulled out because he got the call from Tank. And he didn't want to fuck up the Tank fight. He didn't want to risk getting injured to Frank Martin. He didn't want to risk getting hurt in a Frank Martin fight or losing to a Frank Martin fight. He said, you know what? I could fight Frank or I could fight Tank. And if he chose to fight Tank Davis, none of you would call him a duck. You're only calling Frank Martin a duck because he's the one that got the fight. He turned down $1 million dollars free fucking tv on a thursday night to fight primetime tv on saturday night on pay-per-view against a bigger name a bigger fight against a more dangerous opponent i don't understand some of y'all bro i really don't i, I really don't bro david's his name what's up big block i see you man y'all should have seen joe what just happened bro i don't know if y'all saw that water come across my screen my wife tried to feed the fish, and the fish just damn near jumped out the goddamn fish tank and put water all on my goddamn computer. <laughs> God damn, Scar. The fuck? Thank you, baby. CJ, the family's cartel. What's happening with you, Mike? Yo, yo, yo. Okay, yeah, my shit was tripping for a minute. Hope y'all can hear me, man. Salute. Put 100 in the chat if you can hear me. I just want to make sure y'all can hear me. AJ64, Emmanuel Carter, fight game. I see you. The homie fight game in the building. Aquilo Needle, what's up, Aquilo? Philly Bull 91, I see you in the building. What's up? Larry Simmons, what's good? GD, I see you, man. Salute. Adrian Fournay, what's up? V Rock, what's happening? Jay Chestnut, what's up, Jay? You a Canelo fan. We're going to get on Canelo ass today. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. LeRon Jones, what's up? Fareed, what's happening with you? Oh, oh. Bye, Larry Simmons. You've been trying to troll for like three days now. I appreciate your viewership. Don't put money in my pocket, dumbass. Check it. You thought you thought I had a husband. But you watching me, though, and I don't give a fuck or know who you are. I don't care about you. You watching me, Larry. I ain't watching you. I don't know you, bro. You come to look at me every day. So who really need to come out the class? Goof troop ass motherfucker. <laughs> like what? <laughs> Danetta 27 in the building. What's up? Realistic Washington fan. I see you. Nuke Rude boy. What's up? Am I good? Okay, honey. We good. Okay, okay, okay. Cool, 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 cool. Motor City. What's up? Salute to you. Mr. Fist. I see you. Calvin Elliott. What's happening? Jay Horseman. What's good? I think that is it. I think that's everybody, bro. Dominic, what's up? Salute to you, Dominic. <laughs> you need some role model, something, bro. Jose Garcia, I, KO, I think you locked Ring King's podcast. I don't think so. I don't think so. Ring King podcast, cool. Shout out to T. Uh, Shout out to T Hollywood 99 in there, bit Five piece. No biscuit out the bit. Why Tank give Ryan a fake number? He really broke that man's spirit because I don't want to talk to you. And I'm not going to sit up here on this stage and go back and forth like, nah, you can't have my number and start. Nah, bro, I'm just going to swerve your motherfucking ass, bro. I don't want to be your friend. <laughs> I'm not trying to be your friend, dog. <laughs> I'm not trying to be your friend at all, bro. I'm not trying to be your friend. All. Let's get to it, though. Let's get to it, man. I got to start off with this. Tank Davis and David Benavidez are going to be on the same card on June 15th. Oh, whoa, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Ronnie Bravo, what's happening? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Maybe LeRon maybe shit is broke. Maybe LeRon shit broke. Let me check my shit. Let me check my shit real quick. Maybe his shit broke. I know that ain't right. Maybe his shit broke a little. Nah, his shit ain't broke. Look, man. I want to get to this cooking and shit. Teach, what's up? I, I want to get to this boxing talk. But y'all know, y'all know I need my lights, bro. I got we gotta get the lights, man. We got we gotta run these lights. I got 114 people in here early. I only got 64 lights. I gotta get to 100. We gotta get to 100. Let's get a light check going, mods. Let's run these lights up and then let's get to this cooking. I got a lot on the docket today. I got a lot. I got Tank and Benavidez card, but David Benavidez, Cook Canelo, Sh Canelo, Shakur Stevenson still going off on Twitter and shit. It's extremely disrespectful to be trying to compare Tank David to Canelo Alvarez. Will Terrence Bud Crawford get blackballed by the PBC? I got so much shit to talk about, bro. So many things to cook on. But I got to get them likes, though. I got I to gotta have them. I gotta have the likes, bro. I understand everybody can't donate to the channel and shit. Nardy, what's up, Nardy? I ain't seen you in a minute, man. Salute to my homie from the West Coast in this bitch. I understand everybody can't donate in the super chat. Everybody can't hit the cash out. You know what I mean? That shit costs money. Them likes free though, and I need them. I need every last one of them. We up to 75 over here by my count. We gotta get 25 more. We got to get 25 more so I can so I can so I can run this so I can run this boxing talk, man. Shout out to my brother, bro. G5 Gabe and his queen, Kui Kui, will be live tonight. Y'all go check it out. But shout out to my homie G5 Gabe for coming a member to the channel. Salute, bro, KO in the chat. Chef up this cook. Oh, I'm about to. We about to get it in. I can. I, we about to get it in. But I got to run these likes up, though. You feel me, G5? I got to run these likes up. Ty Swindle, what's happening? Hit that like button, Ty, as you came in. Icon, hit that, hit that like button, Icon. Shit. We up to 84. I just need 16, mo. Emmanuel say we up to 87. D-Town Funk, what's happening, homie? Shout out to you. Once we get there, I'm gone. Once we get there, I'm taking off on their ass, y'all. And while I'm waiting, here we go. Y'all know how we do.
Here we go. Let me do this real quick. Um, smoke link. Put that right there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Put that right there. Pin that shit in the chat. We up to 98, they say. I just need one, two more. I just need two more. Two more, and, and, and we, we going to take off on that. I'm showing a hundred. All right, bet. Let's get to the first one. Tank and David Benavidez on the same fucking car. Somebody tell Oscar De La Hoya, Golden Boy. Somebody tell Eddie Hearn, Matchroom. Somebody tell these motherfucking top rank shit. This is how you put a card together right here, man. I don't even care who else on the card. I don't care. Who else they put on the card? Tank Davis, Frank Martin, David Benavidez versus Govstick. Take my money. Take my $74.99, $79.99, whatever the fuck y'all charging. Take my money for me, please. If you announce the fight and you make it available right now, I'm buying that shit right now. I'm buying it right now, bro. Take my money, dog. These are two of the most exciting fighters in boxing. If you're making a top five most exciting boxers in boxing, if you're making a top five most fun to watch list for fighters in boxing, and you don't have these two in your top five at minimum, then I don't know what the fuck you're doing with your life. I do not know what you're doing with your life. If you do not consider David Benavidez and Javante Tank Davis two of the most exciting fighters, most fun fighters to watch in boxing, then I don't know what the fuck you're doing with your life. I don't know what you're doing with your life. What's up with it, A1? Salute to the homie, A1. Appreciate you sliding through, man. If you're busy with the fam, you know what I'm saying? I know, I know it's all love and support, man. Do your thing, but thanks for sliding through, homie. Appreciate you, bro. My brother A1 in it, bitch. Trey Skills, what up? What up with it, Rolo? Texas in this hole. Rolo, Rolo in the building. Rolo in the photo. Motherfucker probably got a two though. though. You probably lying. You are a Devin Haney fan after all with your capping ass. You probably got a two though. Rolo, you probably ain't got no car. <laughs> Rolo lying like a mother, Rolo. Rolo, you can tell us we family. It's only 142 people watching you type right now. Listen, bro. You can tell us the truth, bro. Do you got a two though, or you ain't got a car at all, bro? Let me know. Let me know, Rolo. <laughs> Rolo, like KO, I'm gonna get your ass. I'm about to hate on everything you say tonight, KO. I'm going in. <laughs> I'm going in. Shout out to Rick Timms in the building. What's happening? Rolo say, see, see, see. I pissed them off. <laughs> I pissed them off, dog. <laughs> I pissed them off early. <laughs> Anyway, more exciting than tank. And I got a Jeep and semi, free and clear. I got a truck, KO. What the fuck you talking about? And a Jeep. My bad, Rolo. I ain't mean no, I ain't mean no horn. I don't want no smoke, bro. <laughs> I don't want no smoke, man. I don't want no smoke at all, bro. But this card, and even if you got, okay, say anyway in there. Even your hating ass, Rolo. Even your hating that, you can't think of five fighters more exciting than these two. So let's say you got in a way up there. I know you're going to throw Terrence Crawford in there. I know you're going to throw Terrence Crawford in there. But if you keep going and you don't have Tank Davis and David Benavidez in your top five for most exciting fighters to watch, bro, you hating. You hating, bro. You, you, you hating. And it don't really matter who on the card. But do y'all mind? Let me ask y'all something. This is a yes or no question. Do y'all mind if I put my matchmaking hat on real quick? Do y'all mind if I if I tell y'all who else I would want on this card? Do y'all mind real quick? Can I just give y'all my, like if they if they said knockout? Who yo who who you putting on this card? Who's your who you putting on this card for the pay per view? Do y'all mind if I can I can I give y'all my shit? You know what I'm saying? Can I can I give y'all who else I would throw on this card, bro? Blunt said he heard it early. Blunt, I got I got even more ideas now though, but it's gonna be pretty much the same. But do y'all mind real? Can I can I give y'all who, who else they should put on this card? 
if it's me, if this is me, bro, if this is my shit, all right, Tank Davis and Frank Martin, main event locked in. David Benavidez goes to co-main event locked in. The rest of my shit is rematches that need to be ran back. I'm going motherfucking opening up the pay-per-view card. The prelims, fuck the prelim, whatever. Opening up my pay-per-view card. I'm going Edwin De La Santos, Jose Rayo, Valenzuela, part two. I got to see that rematch. Got to see that rematch, right? And remember, they say the card is in Houston. They say the card is in Houston, right? Next fight on my card, Jamal Charlo versus Carlos Adamas. For Charlo's 160-pound belt. I'm Al Heyman. I'm look, look, like, look, bro, we bringing this card to Houston. I need this shit to sell. Your motherfucking ass need to make 160. I'm going to tell WBC, go ahead and take your motherfucking belt. You need to fight Carlos Adamas. I'm going Jamal Charlo, Carlos Adamas as a second fight. Then I'm going Cool Boy Steph versus Brandon Figueroa at Featherweight Part 2. And that's it. And then David Benavidez Govstick and Tank Davis Frank Martin. That's it, bro. That's the card is fire. You ain't got to do nothing else. Jamal versus Plant ain't gonna happen, bro. That's not gonna happen. Caleb Plant is too, he too fucking prideful. He ain't finna be on the undercard and shit. L dub, what's happening? But that's what I'm doing. L dub, what you think of this shit? And don't kill my dreams, L dub. L dub be like, well, nah, you can't do that because this person he actually got to fight. He on the undercard over here. This person over there, you can't do that. He got to fight. He on the undercard over there and shit. L dub, if 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 I'm doing the Tank and Benavidez card, L dub, and they fighting in Houston like Tank said, okay, I'm opening up the card with Ryo versus Edwin De La Santos part two. Then I'm going Jamal Charlo. Versus Carlos Adams. Then I'm going Stephen Fulton versus Figueroa at featherweight for the WBC featherweight. Then I'm doing the David Benavidez fight. Then I'm doing Tank and Frank. What's happening, Eldo? What you say, Eldo? What you think? What you think? Am I bugging? If I'm bugging, let me know I'm bugging, bro. DJ813, 10 piece. No biscuit in the super chat. New to the channel, but love your content. Keep going to keep supporting. I appreciate you, bro. Hope to see hope to see you around all the time. One one says that car was trash. K.O., you crazy as hell. Cam Williams, what's up? You crazy as hell. That would be the best card of the year. That would be the best card of the year, and nobody would come close, bro. It's fire, but I'm laughing. See, this is the bullshit I'm talking about. That's the bullshit I'm talking about with you, L Dub. Forget your facts and shit. Forget all the, the, the unbiased reporting. Let me dream. Let me dream. D Tampa said that's a whole lot of money, KO. Well, shit, it's gonna say I'm trying to get him a million buys, bro. I'm trying to get him a million buys out there, bitch. Okay. And EPBC, but they got 200 fighters. They need to, bro. They could stack cars and give you like six or seven fights like the zone. Because they got so many fighters. The problem over at PBC is all them motherfuckers think they the main event. Jamal Charlo going to be looking sideways like, wait a minute, man. Second fight. Second fight. Cool boy Steph going with his ponytail and shit going to be like, what? I'm a main event fighter. And that's the problem. It's time for it's time for Al to sit their head down and be like, look, all you motherfuckers ain't going to be main event. Okay. Some of y'all about to have to take a pay cut. Otherwise, we got to go. <laughs> Some of y'all going to have to. All you motherfuckers ain't main event. I'm sitting Caleb Plant down. Look, bro, you, they been be there whooped your ass, bro. You want to you wanna, you wanna be a main event fighter on a free-ass card? Or you, you trying to get this? You trying to, you trying to, you trying to do it big and get some, get some visibility back? What you doing, bro? 
<laughs> Jesse Magdaleno don't want you to be great because he fighting <laughs> Figueroa on Canelo's car. See, I don't like you. I don't like y'all go subscribe to his channel, even though I don't like him. Y'all go check out his website, ldoboxing.com. You know I don't like him. I don't like him right now. He's killing my job. Okay, take them off. I can come up with another one. Give me Eliza Garcia versus Jesus Ramos. What's happening? Matter of fact, scratch that. Give me Jesus Ramos, Erickson Lubin, the rematch, part two. What's up? Yeah. Yeah, what you guys say about that one? Yeah, give me that one, bro. All the fights I mentioned, snatch Figueroa and Cool Boy off, replace their ass with Jesus Ramos, Erickson Lubin, part two. What's up? Still get the rematch, still lit. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, how about that? How about that, bro? But anyway, dog, I love the card so far. They can take my money from me. And all you hating ass motherfuckers, you know what I'm saying? Y'all go do what you do and go hate somewhere else, bro. But you can't, you can't, you can't hate on nothing. They got Tank Davis and David Benavidez on it, bro. Fire. Absolute fire card, man. I would love that too. Throw that shit on there, bro. Nah, Matias just signed to the zone on a multiple fight deal, bro. Like a few weeks ago. A few weeks ago. All right, moving on from that shit, though. Dave Benavidez cooked the fuck out of Canelo. Nah. Dave Benavidez was listening to the stream yesterday. He caught my videos. Dave Benavidez caught my videos yesterday, bro. Oh, heavy bag, butch. No, it's not. What the fuck are you talking about, G? You probably think Conor Ben versus Manny Pacquiao is a good fight, knowing you. You gonna talk to me about how Manny Pacquiao is a legend and shit, huh? You probably think Conor Ben versus Manny Pacquiao is a good fight with Chris Banks versus Liam Smith three on the undercard. You probably that what you that what you fucking with, huh? Yeah, you like that. You like that Francis and Gunu versus Anthony Joshua type shit, huh? That's the that's the type of cards you like, huh? You want <laughs> you want to go to sleep and shit, huh? You want to go to sleep. You want to watch Shakur Stevenson versus Edwin De La Santos and shit, don't you? Link is in the chat, and I would like to know who you really are, cause I don't think your name is Road to Redemption. Your name used to be something else for you to have a wrench for me, bro. Is there a way to check and see if a motherfucker changed their name? I want to see who you used to be and who you really are, bro. That ain't that ain't your name. I ain't never gave no wrench. Nobody named no road to redemption, bro. Who you? What was your name before this? And here's the thing: he cooked Canelo. You say he didn't cook Canelo. What's happening? Link in the chat. He cooked Canelo ass. 84 prime time. I don't know. What was it before that? How many times you done changed your name? What was it before that? What was it before that? How about you hit that link and talk to me about how he didn't cook Canelo Alvarez until then? Until then. You can sit in the background. Who is this guy? I'm glad the trolls are here. I'm glad. I'm glad the trolls are here. This guy got cooked by Julius. Who the fuck is Julius? Okay, number one. And whoever the fuck Julius is, you could tell Julius to come hit the link right the fuck now. <laughs> As a matter of fact, I'm pretty sure you would do. You can stop gobbling off another dude and you can hit the link yourself. How about that? How about that? Victor, what's up? How about that? No? Oh. <laughs> the debate is up on my channel, bro. You're bucking. <laughs> Slaughtered him and will do it again. <laughs> the fuck are you talking about? It's up on my channel, bro. The whole thing. Get the fuck out of here. How about you hit this link? <laughs> how about that? Because if how about you use his shit and you hit the link? And quit gobbling off another man. <laughs> and anybody that's fucking with me, bro, don't go over nowhere talking about KO cooked you, okay? Don't do that shit. 
we don't move like that a part of this game we just do our thing bro <laughs> we just do our thing over here and if anybody don't like it the link is always in the chat for anybody that want to challenge y'all don't we don't move like that so, so you probably are him bro you probably you probably legit are him You legit probably him. You gone now, though. You just disappeared. Damn. That's sad. Sad thing will happen to you. Guess what? Just because you blocked it on YouTube, you can still hit that link anytime you want. It ain't going nowhere, sucker. Now, Dave Benavidez cooked the shit out of Canelo. Yeah. Cooked the fuck out of him. <laughs> Did him dirty. How about that? He said, if I have nothing to offer, then why are you demanding you get 150 million to 200 million to fight someone who isn't worth anything. Hopefully, after you make that 150 million, you have enough left over to buy a pair of nuts. <laughs> I say, damn, David, you watching the stream? <laughs> if you were watching the stream, bro, you could have just you could have credited me with, with some shit, man. You could have credited me with that shit, bro. You know what I mean? You, I, I said that shit last night, bro. And that's why it don't make no sense. Number one, you're asking for not only your highest payday, you want the highest payday in the history of boxing to fight a motherfucker that don't bring nothing to the table. Think about it. Seattle Rick, what up? Think of you right in time, Seattle Rick. Think about that shit. You want JR, what's happening? You want the highest payday in the history of boxing. In order to fight a motherfucker that don't bring nothing to the table. Bullet, what's happening? This is what I'm gonna do. This is what I'm gonna do, cause you, you ain't gonna, you know what I'm saying? All right, your ass ain't a moderator no more. Road to redemption. And then if you don't hit this link in the next, I'm gonna give you five minutes. I don't give a fuck what you doing. I don't give a fuck what you doing. I'm a, you ain't got no wrench no more over here. Cause I don't know who the, I don't know who the fuck you are, right? I don't remember you. And then I'm gonna block your ass if you don't hit this link in the next five minutes. I got my time on right now. I'm, I'm not finna do the. I'm, we're not doing the comment section shit. Don't nobody block them. You know what I'm saying? Don't nobody block his ass. None of that shit. I'll block him myself if he don't hit this link. Don't nobody block him. That's my work in every sense of the word. That's mine. That's mine. Let me start this comment real quick. Let me go start this shit so I can come back to block your ass because I don't believe you don't hit that motherfucker. I hope I'm wrong, though. Yeah, I hope I'm wrong, though. So there you go. Your wrench is fucking gone, homeboy. Number two, though, Hit that motherfucking link and talk to me about it. talk to me about how I'm wrong. Don't argue with me in the comments, bro. That shit annoying. You it take more to type. Man. What'd you say? Fucking type. Get the fuck out of here with that shit, man. Anyway. Anyway, moving on, bro. So I, I told y'all from jump. Zulu, what's happening? I told y'all from jump, man. I told y'all from jump, bro. I said, look, that man clearly trying to price himself out the motherfucking fight. Right? You, so, it's one person that made, I want y'all to understand this shit. And I cooked on it a little bit yesterday. But, when you really, when you really think about how, how astronomically big this is as a fucking duck, right? It's one motherfucker in boxing that made somewhere between that. His name is Floyd Mayweather. All right. Floyd Mayweather made $180 million to fight Manny Pacquiao. But it wasn't guaranteed. It wasn't up front like what Canelo was asking for. Floyd Mayweather made $180 million to fight Manny Pacquiao because they sold 4.6 million pay-per-view buys. 
Canelo Alvarez is asking to get that type of check before any pay-per-view buy is sold. He said if, if they want me to fight him, a promoter can pay me somewhere between 150 to 200 million dollars. So he don't even want to sell the shit to try to make that money. He want that shit up front. He trying basically, I'll fight him if y'all let me bankrupt y'all. <laughs> Top rank, match room, the zone, premier boxing champions. I will fight him if one of you entities will allow me to make your company go bankrupt. Make that shit make sense, bro. Make, make that shit make any kind of sense that you want it to make. Please, try. Try. So I'm glad Benavidez, Benavidez has been real respectful of Canelo, bro. He ain't really went at him. He just been asking for the fight, saying he ready for the fight. But Canelo started throwing the slugs first. He don't bring nothing to the table except an extra 25 pounds. How many pounds extra did you bring to the table against Jamel Charlo or Amir Khan? I'm glad David Benavidez is finally like, you know what, man? Fuck this dude. Fuck this dude, man. I'm going to do what I do. And I'm going to talk that shit. And I'm going to let him have it. And it's so easy to let him have it. He said, he said, David Benavidez don't bring nothing to the table. Why the fuck you trying to fight Edgar Berlanga, bro? If David Benavidez don't bring nothing to the table, that means everybody that you fight should bring more to the table than him. What does Edgar Berlanga bring to the table that David Benavidez don't, don't bring? For those of you in the in, in the in the in the channel taking up for him. Hmm, answer that question. What does what does Edgar Berlanga bring to the table that David Benavidez don't? What do he got that David Benavidez don't? Y'all know what it is? It's an easy fucking victory. <laughs> that's what that's what Canelo talking about. You don't bring nothing to the table. I mean, you don't bring no easy ass victory for me. That's what Edgar Berlanga. That's what Edgar Berlanga bring to the table. Is an easy fucking victory, bro. <laughs> that's what he bring to the motherfucking table, dog. <laughs> that's what he think. How many Munguia bring to the table? You know what? I think this might be an easy ass victory. So that's that's what you got to bring. David don't bring none of that shit. David don't bring none of that shit, bro. I agree, Pearl Infinity. Yeah, we on the same page, Javon. 1007, what's happening? We on the same page with that shit, bro. And it, it's about time that the boxing world, you know what I'm saying, finally catches up to Canelo's antics, bro, and his tactics, and this idea that he can do whatever the fuck he want, fight whoever he want, and there's no consequences behind it. Bro, y'all can say what y'all want on YouTube. You can say what you want. In the real world, you know, I mean, on, on YouTube and on Twitter and shit, the fact of the matter is that in the real world, when it was a press conference and the fans had an opportunity to go to the press conference, those of us that go to fights, those of us that buy fights, when fans had that opportunity, the ones that don't just live on Twitter, the ones that don't just live on YouTube, the ones that actually will go to a press conference, go to a weigh-in, go to a fight, those fans... They was cheering for Jaime Munguia more than they was cheering for Canelo Alvarez. Somebody tell me I'm wrong. Somebody tell me I'm wrong. See, the YouTube, the you, the YouTube world will trick your ass into thinking it's the real world if you live on this motherfucker too much. If you, if you, if you, if you up under a rock and you a YouTube motherfucker and you and you just think everything on YouTube is what reflects the real world, cool, no problem. But out here in the real world. Where people go to fights and go to press conferences and shit, and people buy tickets and people pay for pay per views, the real boxing fans were cheering for Jaime Munguia way more than they were cheering for Canelo Alvarez. Bullet, I hear you, but you think everybody you don't like is gonna lose. <laughs> Bullet, think every everybody that, that pissed Bullet off. 
Bully say, how many Munguia gonna beat Canelo ass, fam? Bully, you disqualify yourself, bro, from picks. And it ain't because you don't know your boxing. That ain't what I'm saying. You disqualify yourself from picks because you make your picks based on who you like <laughs> and who you don't like. If a motherfucker piss you off about Devin Haney, you picking that motherfucker to lose. I'm sorry. <laughs> Shakur pissed your ass off with Devin Haney. What you do? Nigga, I got Frank Martin beating Shakur, bro. <laughs> I got Frank Martin. Frank Martin going to beat Shakur, bro. I got Frank Martin over Shakur, bro. <laughs> Tank Davis and his team piss your ass off about, <laughs> about Devin Haney. What you do? I got Frank Martin. Frank Martin going to beat Tank. <laughs> That's how Devin Haney fans be doing, though. Frank Martin, I got Frank Martin beating Tank. Frank Martin gonna beat Tank Davis ass, bro. <laughs> he gonna beat Tank Davis ass for real. Tank overrated. Frank gonna beat his ass. <laughs> Tank gonna beat his ass, bro. You know how you be doing, bro. You know how you be doing, dog. Shout out to Big Supreme. Ten piece. No biscuit in the super chat. He say, keep cooking. I'm gonna try to, man. <laughs> I'm gonna try to. Shout out to JR. Five piece. No biscuit in the super chat. Drop by for the daily content. Get that red redhead KO. Us real Mexicans don't claim him no more. See, whoever that is in the background, I've never seen you before. So you gotta turn your camera on for a minute, then you can turn it back off. Okay, you good? I let you up. You good? You good? You can turn it off. Shout out to my homie Dub Right Side gifting 10 memberships to the channel. Hopefully, when I drop the link for everybody, your mic is working today, Dub. Hopefully, when I drop the link, his mic is working. His mic was tripping me yesterday. He texted me and shit. But shout out to my homie gifting 10 members some memberships. He got who he who he who he hook up. See, I like I like that he hooked some people. Look, I don't ever see these people coming. He hooked up Dolo the God. Go good. Too cold. My apparel, Mike 202. What's up, Mike? Johnny C, Carlos Valdez, Make It Make Sense TV, Chris McCoy, B Jones, Make It Make Sense TV. I don't never see you come in, man. Who, who are you? <laughs> yeah, I like these gifts. I get to see who watching in the shadows and shit. Shout out to you, though. Uh, shout out to everybody that got gifted memberships, man. I hope y'all, I hope y'all, you know what I'm saying. Take advantage of the exclusive content that we dropped to the channel. And I think I missed the homie Philly Rock. Philly Rock with the two-piece in the super chat. No biscuit. He ain't say nothing. He just showing love. All right, let me see. Let me see if we got some smoke. Let me see what's up. All right, All right we got Coach Eddie up here. Coach Eddie, talk to me. What's happening? Hey, what's going on, man? Uh, I just want to cook this food, Canelo. Is this the wrong time to cook him? Okay. Yeah, this, yeah, yeah. This, yeah, this. Right now, I mean, right now it's just me cooking them, but. I'm trying. If anybody come up and hit the link right now, that's for debate smoke. But I do oh, open. Okay. My, my I do fault, open up fault. the panel. I do open up the panel later on. If you want to okay. come up when I open up the panel for everybody, you're more than welcome. Okay, then, bro. Yes, sir. I appreciate. You. All right, talk to you soon. Shout out to Coach Eddie, man. Road to redemption. You got two more minutes. I'm not trying to hear that soon, shit. I'm not trying to hear that that soon shit. Shout out to the homie uh teaching the building JDM. What's up with it? Yo, what JD, up, what's up? Man. hey, what's good, bro? Smoke. What's good, bro? I got chilling, smoke. chilling. Cassandra in the building. What's up? What's up, Cassandra? I see you. What you got smoke on? You don't never answer your damn phone. Answer your damn phone, bro. I'm on the live stream, JD. I just saw you text. You texted me while I'm live, bro. God damn, bro. Now I got smoke because you ain't smoked this this uh this uh this damn fool Canelo for saying that 150 million, 200 million is feasible for him to fight, nigga. Bro, did you did you watch the live yesterday? You went live. Oh, come on, bro. Come on, bro. <laughs> come on, bro. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. I got somebody behind you, though, man. Let me get let me get to this smoke, and I'm going to open up the panel later, though. All right, bro. Peace. <laughs> he be driving that truck. Y'all cut JD some slack, man. He be driving that truck and shit, man. Uh, What's up, right side? What's happening? 
Oh shit, I can't hear you, bro. I can't hear you at all. <laughs> Yo, this fucked up. What did you do to your mic, man? Damn, right side. This shit ain't working, bro. I I see you off mute, but we don't hear shit. Me and the chat don't hear nothing, bro. Damn, that's tough. Yeah, we don't hear you, bro. I'm going to keep the show going, though, man. I hope you get that shit fixed, bro. Hope you get that shit fixed, homie. All right. What was it? All right, moving on. So that's my thing with Canelo, bro. That That's my thing with him, bro. Like, you don't want to fight if you asking for money that ain't nobody ever got before to fight a motherfucker. And at the same time saying he don't bring nothing to the table for you. People want their highest paydays for easy-ass fights. I mean, for hard-ass fights. People don't want a payday like that for an easy-ass fight, bro. You ain't fooling nobody. And like I was saying before people started hitting the link, it's evident, and it's evidence that you don't want to fight the man or that the, the, the boxing fans are on to your ass, I should say, because Jaime Munguia was getting bigger cheers than you. You supposed to be the man. You supposed to be that guy. And they wouldn't even... And here's the thing. If they were booing Canelo, then I'd be like, okay, yeah, he's still that guy because they hate him so much. You know what I'm saying? They hating on him or whatever. Boo! They care so much, they booing his ass. That would be better. They was just indifferent with his ass. They were like, uh, they introduced, you're like, Canelo Alred. They were like, <laughs> like, they just, like, fight fans just disgusted with his ass, bro. What it is, everyday wookie wook, whatever somebody wanted to be, they can hit the link. I don't really give a damn. I'm talking about what I'm talking about. But if somebody want to somebody wanna hit that motherfucker, then cool. You know what I mean? Frequent, I see you. Key Alexandra, I see you. What's up with y'all? So that shit, that's telling, bro. They want Texas. Texas. They want, bro. <laughs> They won't. It's indefensible. There's nothing. You can't defend this shit. Not with me. That shit may work with somebody else, but not with me, though. Shout out to Shakur Stevenson, man. I, 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 I love the skill set. I, I, I do. But he's still going off on Twitter. And like I told Shakur, if you're listening, bro, if you're watching, I told you for a small fee, bro. About forty thousand dollars a year, I'll run your Twitter for you, bro, and I'll cook everybody on that bit. You give me about forty thousand dollars a year, I'll cook everybody. I have Bill Haney cook, I have Devin cook, I cook Tank for you, bro. I had a whole boxing world cook. You'll be the, you'll be the, the toast of the town. People be making videos left and right, man. You see what Shakur said, bro? He, he pulled, he called him bluff. He pulling people cards. He doing this. He doing that. I'd have you right, boy. I'd have you right for sure. So, Shakur Stevenson been firing off tweets all day. Firing off tweets all day long. Right side, what up? Right side, what up? Mike still broke. He off mute, but y'all can't hear shit. Yeah. Mike still broke. Yeah, Mike still broke, dog. I'm gonna put you backstage. Let me know when you want me to try it again. Type it in the private chat. Mike still broke, dog. Here's my issue with Shakur, man. I, I, I'm, and I gotta do this, and I don't mean to upset Big Dog Willie and Shakur Stevenson Nation, my homie Blunt Sports. I don't want to upset y'all, bro. But I need y'all to know that I don't just be talking, man. And then everything I say, I say the shit for a reason. Quee Quee, I see you in the building. Salute. Quee Quee will be live tonight. Y'all go check out. Shakur Stevenson said to something that Bill Haney wrote. Bill Haney wrote on Twitter about four hours ago. 
He was talking about man out here tripping with all these lies. Now it's called Bob. What in the A side, B side bullshit is going on? People need to stop listening to that crap. Shakur is officially boxing's publicity stunt king. Shakur Stevenson quotes this and says, what are you even talking about? I'm convinced you just be saying anything or you on that dope. You forgot you was the one who met with Bob and he said there was no real offer publicly. You don't even plan on making a fight with me next or ever. So don't even mention me, punk ass ninja. Then he follows that up. He said, niggas move around with 20 niggas every day of their life, but talk super gangster. Stop talking about me, female body part ass. If y'all don't want to make a fight happen, ain't shit to talk about. I got no problem with him going to Bill Haney like this. Hold on a second. Right side, what up? Damn, bro, you, you came off mute confident in the motherfucker, too, and you typed in the chat confident, bro. He typed, hey, y'all should see what he typed in the private chat. And he came off mute confident in the motherfucker. That shit did not work, dog. That shit did not work, man. Damn, right side. Let me know when you're ready to try again, bro. Hopefully you figure it out, man. Salute to my homie right side, bro. My issue ain't got shit to do with what he said to Bill Haney, bro. Bill and Devin talking they shit to him. He talking shit to them. Here's my pro. It ain't just Devin Haney fans on his ass, bro. I'm a I'm a huge Tank Davis fan. I like Shakur. I like Devin. But everybody know me. Know I'm a Tank guy, bro. It's not a, it's not a Devin Haney fan on his ass. And you know I'm gonna tell you when a Devin Haney fan trip when they dead ass wrong. I'm gonna tell you every motherfucking time. But when they when 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 it ain't got nothing to do with Devin, it ain't got nothing to do with Devin. My issue is this. Why all this, like, bro, all this shit to Bill Haney and, and, and talking about Devin and shit, cool, do your thing. How come you were so friendly on the on the Twitter spaces with Ryan Garcia, though? And I asked Shakur this to his face. When I was talking to him on my homie Everything Boxing Channel, I said, bro, you, you it'd be different when you're dealing with Loma. And now we got to add Ryan Garcia to the list, bro. He was very respectful to Ryan Garcia on their little Twitter spaces back and forth. He's very respectful of Lomachenko. But when he get, it's like a certain, it's a certain animus there. It's a certain level of animosity, bro. When it comes to Devin and Bill Haney, bro. It's funny how you all want Canelo to fall. Enjoy his greatness and what he's done for the sport. The boxing game would be boring without him. No pay-per-view stars left. Number one, he's bleeding promoters dry. He's demanding the most amount of money possible for subpar competition. There's nothing great about bringing up Jamel Charlo Two weight classes. There's nothing great about trying to make Badu Jack fight 20 pounds under the cruiserweight limit. And then putting a rehydration clause on him on top of that. There's nothing great about fighting John Ryder instead of David Benavidez. There's nothing great about waiting until Triple G was 40 years old and then finally fighting him for a third time and making him move up to fight at 168 pounds, bro. There's nothing great. There's absolutely, positively, 100%, nothing great about trying to fight Edgar Berlanga. There's nothing great about trying to fight Jaime Munguia right now. There's nothing great about picking Jamal Charlo three years out of the ring, coming off of injury, dealing with, with clear and evident and very apparent alcohol issues, and maybe other issues too that I ain't gonna speak on because all I see publicly is the alcohol. Clearly got issues. There's nothing great about trying to pick him, move him up to 168, and want $35 million to fight him. There's nothing great about any of that. Nothing great about any of it.
Now you can debate me on it. Links in the chat. Links in the chat. <laughs> Tell me what lie I just told you. What's great? What what the fuck is great? Right? Since you want me here, let me. I, 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 so don't nobody get confused. I'll put that back there since you wanted to go there, sir. Since you wanted to go there, y'all smash the like button. Donate to the channel. Subscribe to the channel if you're new here. What's great about knowing? Knowing that Jamel Charlo is well past his prime and pulling him up anyway. What's great about that? Tell me what what was great about Canelo Alvarez's victory over Jamel Charlo. What's great about that? Drink more water. Samson can't get an okay to shit. That's Al Heyman deal, bro. Samson can't. Samson can't okay nothing, bro. That's Al Heyman making that deal, putting up the money, doing all that shit. That ain't Samson. Just be talking, bro. Samson also, and the reason I say that, drink. Samson said Dave Benavidez wanted like thirty, forty million dollars to fight fucking um Demetrius Andrade, bro. When it comes to that shit, and David Benavidez, to his credit, corrected the fuck out of Samson. Said, "Hell, I don't know what the hell you talking about." So, to David Benavidez's his credit, I'm gonna listen to him, bro. I'm gonna listen to him. No disrespect to Samson or none of that shit. I'm gonna listen to David Benavidez, though. I didn't say Jamel Charlo was past his prime. I said what was great about pulling him up two weight classes, bro. What what level of greatness did Canelo Alvarez show against Jamel Charlo? I did not say he was past his prime. If I did, I misspoke because I don't believe that to be true. Jamal is. Maybe I meant Jamal, but Jamel Charlo, no. I didn't say he was past his prime. If I did, again, I misspoke. That's not what I meant to say. All right, bro. What's up? K.O., can you hear me? There you go. Welcome back. Can you hear me? Yeah, welcome back, man. Welcome God back. Damn. What? Hey, hey, God. Damn. Okay. I, all right. I, I see. All right. I, I got it now. I got it. Keep clicking, man. I'm, 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 I'm going to jump up here on the open panel, but keep clicking. All right, bro. I'm going to holler at you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Boy, sounding good now. All right. Got you. Got you. Got you. So, miss me with that bullshit, bro. Miss me with that bullshit. And back to Shakur Stevenson, bro. Get somebody else to run your Twitter for you, dog. And if you're going to be going off on motherfuckers, can you just go off on everybody the same? Don't go off on Devin and Bill like that and be so friendly with Tank, bro. Just for the people, for the culture, man. Please, bro. Don't go off on, 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 on Devin and Bill like that, bro, and not go off on Lomachenko like that. Don't do that shit, Shakur. And then last but not least, bro, don't definitely don't go off on Devin and Bill like that and then not go off on Ryan Garcia like that, bro. We don't we the boxing fans need you to keep that same energy, bro. We need you to keep that same energy, bro. Truth, what's up? What can I cook you on today? Well, so you would have had to did it yesterday, but you failed. Um in Canelo's defense. For the Jermel fight, Mel did not come to win or fight or do anything competitive that day either. So, I mean, yeah, he pulled him up three, but, like, Mel didn't even look like he wanted to be in that ring. He collected his check and laid down. What was great? about any of it what's great about picking jamel charlo what was great about the performance what was great about what canelo did well canelo and i, I now i i'm not going to uh, defend the greatness of him pulling up just simply because canelo was ducking the whole division and you know ringing up other fighters however in that particular fight it does take two 
And if you have one stepping on the gas, trying to do something, and then the other just running away, acting like his hands, um, he ain't unlocked them yet. Like, it, it does take two for that fight. Now, as far as for the whole bringing them up and the whole before then, yeah, but the actual fight, you got to give some of that to Mel. We're talking about Canelo's greatness, bro. Right. What did? But if you're great, why? What kept Canelo from cutting off the ring? I mean, he did. He did put him down. He had twelve rounds, and he and he clearly had Mel scared of whatever Canelo was throwing at him. So I mean, it's. I mean, that's, again, these are world that's class. Good. That's good. So his greatness, fighters. his greatness is dependent upon the other fighter. What you mean, Canelo still won and put another undisputed champion down? But what's, like, what's, I don't think great, that... what's great about beating somebody that's two weight classes under you that never fought in your weight class before? What's great about that? Nothing at all. Again, as far as the whole circumstance surrounding the fight got you, the fight is its own its own thing. As you told me, he made weight, so therefore it's all fights on. So therefore, when he made weight, Mel did not come to fight. I, 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 I understand. Jamel Charlo, Jamel Charlo fought like a hoe. That, that's that's not that's not the point. There is nothing in that fight. If Canelo stopped him in the fight, if he beat him up for ten rounds and stopped him, if he stopped him in the middle of the fight, there's nothing great about pulling someone up two weight classes in the weight class. It ain't just two weight classes like you going from. 112 to 118 or 115 to 122 it's two weight classes where you're going from 154 to 168 you're supposed to win that fight but as that's like somebody- that's like if tank, if tank davis if javante tank davis right now pulled up stephen cool boy fulton from 122 to 135 that is there is no there is no level of greatness he could show in that fight Anything he do to cool boy stuff, knock him out with one punch, beat him up and knock him out, um, beat him by unanimous decision because cool boy is running. There's nothing Tank Davis can do in a cool boy step fight that's going to show his greatness. All he would do is what the fuck he's supposed to do. Right. However, if we're going to um, bring in all of these other elements, there were narratives saying that Canelo was running away from the Charlos. Both Charlos, plural, both mall. Well, we definitely verifiably mall. Um, and then uh, Mel as well. No one had brought up that narrative about Jamel Charlo for fucking years. They no one so, cared. No one wanted that fight. Everyone wanted the David Benavidez fight. Correct. And that's, no, it, that's all. No, no one was there. talking about Jamel, bro. There was no argument there. How it ain't like we're not gonna we're not gonna act like Canelo Alvarez. Like, yeah, I gotta pick Jamel because y'all said that I was ducking him, so I'm gonna go ahead and pick him because he a tough fight. No, he looked around. He said, "Oh, there go a cherry right there. I love cherries. Let me eat one of them whole." Real really, quick. it was ma- really the cherry was mall, but you know he was in such any 150. Position. If David Benavidez, David Benavidez could fight any 154 pound in the world. That's a cherry pick. Canelo Alvarez fighting any hundred and fifty pounds in the pick. You say what? Not if it's Fondora. <laughs> that might actually be, I'm not no, I'm 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 being a little um exaggerating in regard. I just said just because he's so tall, that wouldn't necessarily be a cherry. But yeah, no, nah, um yeah, so because I, he, I get the point. He's tall, that's not a cherry pick. The motherfucker is blind, true. <laughs> and he got no defense. <laughs> I mean, people say, David "Are you troll? Are you trolling me? Are you just up here to troll?" <laughs> He's fucking blind. He got knocked out by Brian Mendoza, well, and he can't well, see. And he got well, no Brian, defense. Brian Mendoza went plus ultra, and that's the only reason why he was able to get that because he had to jump and put everything into that just to climb that tree. But am I trolling just a little bit? I ain't gonna lie to him. <laughs> Shout out to the homie right side, gifting five more memberships to the channel. I appreciate you, Doug. Do you got anything else, bro? I really want to get on these other topics and I'll open up the panel, bro. No, you I got you. All right, bro. I'll see, see you later on tonight, man. Truth be bullshitting, man. Shout out to Truth. Truth bullshitting, bro. 
But I mean, hey, when 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 you when you can't fuck with me, I guess you just gotta start trolling and shit. He's still delirious from that ass whooping he took yesterday. So we're gonna cut him some slack, man. We're gonna cut we're gonna cut troops some slack because that ass whooping I put on him yesterday was it was brutal. It was brutal, man. I made him, I made I made I made him submit, man. You know what I mean? <laughs> made him submit. Uh all right, moving on, bro. I try not to talk about this shit, man. I didn't. I only got two more things to talk about before I dropped the link. I try not to talk about this shit, bro. But some of you guys hate Javante Tank Davis so much, you won't let the person have their day that's supposed to have their day. So I'm cooking Canelo yesterday. I'm cooking his ass with all facts, just fact after fact after fact after fact. I'm going in on him. I'm doing him dirt. And what happens? I mean, he just like Tank. He he just like Tank Davis. Him and Tank, they move the same. He just like Tank. So if you're criticizing Canelo, then you gotta criticize Tank. So what I heard yesterday. Over and over again. That's what I saw in the chat. Since y'all want to talk about it. Fine, bro. <laughs> Fine, we can we can talk about it. All right. It is disrespectful and it shows your level of hate for you to compare Tank Davis to Canelo Alvarez. Tank Davis has never disrespected the sport the way that Canelo Alvarez has disrespected the sport. Is it Javante Tank Davis that tested positive for clenbuterol? Let's start right there. I need to know. How you can hate a man so much, you will compare him to a motherfucker that is a fucking drug cheat. Ex explain yourselves, goddammit. E explain yourselves, bro. What up, Nas? Explain yourselves, bro. Ratchet since 91. What's happening? How can you hate someone so much that you would compare him to a motherfucker that is a drug cheat? I thought y'all were boxing fans, though. We want to push the we want to push the sport forward, Ko. Ko, we all about boxing. We want to push the sport forward. The motherfucker cheated and made them change the clenbuterol levels to where he can continue to do whatever he was doing. They got him caught in the first place. The motherfucker is a drug cheat, and some of y'all want to criticize Tank so bad that you say. I mean, that's exactly how. Did some of y'all forget how Canelo Alvarez moves, bro? Some of y'all forget how Canelo Alvarez moves or something. Motherfuckers a drug cheat, bro. And you you comparing them to Tank Davis because you a Devin Haney fan or because you a Loma fan or you because you a Shakur fan or because you just a Tank Davis hater and shit. So that's the first thing, right off the rip, right off the rip. And see, that's my problem with y'all. Because, see, I give Devin the benefit of the doubt because I'm talking about this shit because a lot of y'all was Devin Haney fans. Let's just keep it 100. A lot of y'all that was saying that shit, you Devin Haney fans, bro. I get it. I get it. I'm getting there, Mr. Fist. Don't worry. Because I, I, I hear people say shit. I'm like, do you motherfuckers think before you type? Do you think before you talk? Like, what are we what are we doing? So when you make these comparisons, just think before you before you do something. Tank Davis ain't never had to sit in front of you and tell you, yeah, I tested positive. I had this performance enhancing drug. I had this PED inside my system. And it's because I had some bad meat. I had some bad burrito tacos. I had some bad barbacoa tacos. I didn't really cheat, though. He didn't ask you to believe some bullshit and sweep it under the rug. Why would you compare him to a man that did that, bro? Why would you do that? Make that shit make sense. Why would you, 
Why would you compare him to a man who had a whole belt made up for him? Can you name a mandatory challenger that Tank Davis didn't fight? Canelo don't fight no fucking mandatories. Belts matter though, right? Oh yeah, talk. We gonna talk. Y'all wanna talk about this shit? We can talk about this shit, goddammit. What, what who's the mandatory that can say Tank Davis didn't fight me? He dropped his belts. He didn't give me my opportunity. Who's the mandatory that can say that about him? When they make up, who made up a belt for him? Where where his belt at? Where his franchise shit at? And I'm still waiting on the answer to my other question. Motherfucker don't fight no mandatories. You want to talk about resume? You want to talk about accomplishments? Cool, no problem. Canelo got that over damn near everybody in boxing. Give a fuck about that. We talking about how somebody moved their behavior, their character, their integrity. The motherfucker's a drug cheat. Would you rather have be more accomplished, have a better resume, and have it tainted like a motherfucker and be a drug cheat? Or would you rather be a motherfucker that's not a drug cheat? This may be less accomplished. But anyway, back to what I was saying. What mandatory can say that Tank Davis didn't fight them? And then this how this how big a haters y'all are, bro. With the drug cheat shit. Y'all will compare Tank Davis to a motherfucking drug cheat in Canelo Alvarez. Meanwhile, I'm taking up. Jay Grant Jr., what's up? I'm taking up for Devin Haney. Nah, bro, you can't put that shit on Devin. Just because he was snacking shit, man. He ain't never tested positive. Cause I'm just too real, bro. Y'all, a lot of y'all some fake ass people, bro. Shout out to the real ones out there. But y'all, y'all fake as fuck, bro. You fake, you fake as fuck, bro. I say uh, people come at me. Oh, you gonna cook Devin, bro? You snag and shit. Nah, bro. I ain't putting that shit on him. Devin ain't never per tested positive, bro. He ain't never tested positive. You can't put that shit on that young man. Feel me? Can't do that to him. If he tests positive, let's have a conversation. Meanwhile, y'all associate Tank with a motherfucking drug cheat and don't even realize what you're doing and how you're trying to tarnish that man's name because you're so fucking conditioned. you so fucking conditioned in the in the Bill Haney gospel that you don't even realize what you're doing. You don't even realize what the fuck you're doing, bro. Can't even get, you can't even keep yourself from hating and realize... What you trying to tie him to? Meanwhile, people like myself is out here defending Devin Haney, saying he ain't no motherfucking drug cheat. Can't put that on that young man. He a hard worker. He a gym rat. Dave, what's up? He putting in that work in the gym. He ain't never tested dirty. He been enrolled in Vada for his last 14 fights. Y'all a tie. Y'all a tie Tank Davis to the motherfucking drug cheat, though. Get the fuck out of here, bro. Y'all, that's some bullshit. And y'all know it's bullshit, bro. That's why all the comments and shit ain't nobody saying shit. You watching though? Two hundred people here. Ain't nobody got shit to say today, huh? What them little slick ass, sly ass comments today? God damn it! What that? That link in the chat. Where all that smoke at y'all had yesterday? When I didn't want to talk about this shit. Where 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 y'all at now though? When I kept saying, "Say, bro, let's give Canelo his time." This shit about Canelo. I'm not trying to make this shit about Tank. This shit about Canelo Alvarez. Y'all kept going, kept going, kept talking, kept talking. Ooh, let me let me type this little slick ass shit. <laughs> let me let me type this little slick ass shit right here. I'm gonna make it about Tank Davis. Okay, cool. Let's make it about Tank and Canelo. Where y'all at now? Why ain't nobody talking now? You compare so when I was doing a when I when I was talking Tank Davis and Ryan Hayes, this is how fraudulent some of y'all are, bro. Facts running. This is how fraudulent some of y'all are, bro. When we was talking that Tank and Ryan shit, man, you know, Ryan was drained, man, and that's dangerous, man. He was drained. He wasn't himself. He could have really got hurt, man. Dehydrated, man. He wasn't himself in the fight. He wasn't himself in the fight. The highest that Ryan Garcia had ever weighed in at before fighting Tank Davis, was 139 pounds. Ryan Garcia was a career lightweight. 
Tank Davis wanted him to make 135 pounds. And he said, out of his own mouth, he's just lazy. He didn't want to make the weight, so we did what he did. If he wanted to make 135, then we wouldn't have put no stipulations on him. That's what he said. He gave you a reason. Somebody real quick in the chat. What reason did Canelo Alvarez give you for bringing up Triple G from 160 to 168? What reason did Canelo Alvarez give you for bringing up up Jamel Charlo from 154 to 168. What reason did Canelo Alvarez give you for trying to bring up Jamal Charlo from 160 to 168? And here's the kicker. Here's the fucking kicker. What reason? What reason did Canelo Alvarez give you for trying to make Badu Jack fight 20 fucking pounds below the cruiserweight limit? Motherfucker don't explain shit to you. He really trying to dehydrate motherfuckers and throw his weight around and be a weight bully. He pulling motherfuckers up to his shit. Tank Davis went down in weight to fight Leo Santa Cruz. Went down in weight to take his belt from him. Did Canelo go down in weight to fight Jamel Charlo? Did he go back down in weight to fight Triple G? Did he go down in weight to fight Jamal Charlo? Was he willing to do that? Fuck no, he wasn't. Fuck no, he wasn't. But that's who y'all want to compare Tank Davis to. A motherfucker that'll drain somebody 20 pounds from one from 200 to 180 and put a rehydration clause on the motherfucker. That's who you comparing them to. All because you hate them. All because you feel like you got to shit on him to uplift your favorite fighter. Some of y'all are disgusting, bro. Straight up. Some of you are disgusting, fraudulent, fanboy-ass human beings, bro. But let me be like, well, shit, you know. Hey, you know. Devin Haney is with snack, bro. You know, Victor Conte and shit, he is with snack. So Devin Haney a drug cheat. Y'all will lose y'all mind. You'll lose your mind. It'll be moisture and humidity all in the air. It'd be humid and moist in the motherfucker in this chat if I start talking like that. Well, you know, shit, he is associated with Victor Conte. He is on snacks, so he must be a drug cheat. He just getting away with it. Y'all would lose your fucking mind if somebody tried to associate Devin as a cheater because he around a cheater. Canelo Alvarez actually fucking cheated, and y'all are comparing somebody to him that never tested positive. You're disgusting, bro. You're absolutely disgusting, bro. You make no sense when you talk, when you type, none of that shit. The motherfucker asked for... 150 to 200 million dollars and your response was that's a tank move can you point me in the direction where tank davis ever asked for the most money of any fight purse in boxing history to fight a motherfucker all he simply said was y'all know who to call when you want to make the fucking fight i'm done talking that's what he asked this shit's not even fucking comparable, bro. It's not even comparable. He said, I'm done talking about it. If you niggas really want to make the fight, you know who to call. And everyone knows he was referring to Al Heyman. And your favorite fighter's response was, we ain't got to call Al. That fake ass offer we made is still on the table. But then a couple of months later, if somebody really want to make a fight, they don't make the offer through the DMs. Ain't that what the fuck you tried to have Bill Haney do and Eddie Hearn do? Make an offer on social media through the fucking DMs, but now when Shakur try to do it, it ain't real, though. Y'all some y'all some contradictory, motherfucking hypocritical-ass people, bro. And that's the that's the God God's honest bottom-line truth about some of y'all, bro. The shit y'all do to call people such as myself a hater. When all I do is tell the truth, I don't tear down. I don't tear down motherfucking Devin Haney. I tell the truth. I give my opinion based on facts. Y'all literally trying to tear a young man down at every turn. 
Some of you pick Frank Martin to be Shakur and Tank Davis get the Frank Martin fight. You call it a motherfucking tune up. You say Frank Martin is a prospect, ain't proved nothing. But then turn around, hate Tank Davis so much, you pick Frank Martin to beat him. You same motherfuckers. Oh, man, you know. Shakur Stevenson can't be serious. He already got a fight date in July 6th. And he ain't going to fight Devin Haney on a one-month notice. That shit don't make no sense. He already got a fight date. But then turn around. No, nah, Devin was serious, man. He'll fight Tank Davis on a one-month notice. Y'all some, boy, y'all some clown, boy. Some of y'all some clowns, boy. And you know it, too. There's no comparison between Tank Davis and Canelo. He never did no fugazi, fraudulent, sucker-ass, cheating-ass shit. Never. But if you want to compare somebody to Canelo Alvarez, because Canelo Alvarez likes to fight people in their 30s, John Ryder, 35 years old, Triple G, 40 years old, wanted Jamal Charlo, 34 years old, fought Jamel Charlo, 34 years old, wanted Sergey Kovalev, mid-30s. If you want to compare somebody to Canelo, there is a guy. There is a guy, Regis Progray, 34, 35 years old. There is a guy, Lomachenko, 34, 35 years old. There is a guy, Lenore Reyes, 34, 35 years old. There's a guy that you, if you want to, if you really want to compare somebody to Canelo Alvarez, is what I'm saying. If you if you if you really want to compare somebody to Canelo Alvarez who loves to fight fighters past their prime, who loves to be like, ooh, Billy Joe, B Billy Joe Saunders. He's a champion. Come here, Billy. Regis Progray, 34, 35 years old. He's a champion too. Come here, Regis. If y'all really want to go there, I can go there with you. If you if you if, if that's if that if those are the things that we want to do. We can do that. Not me. What's happening? We can do that. Oh. Oh, let me. Oh, let me. Let me try to catch Bivol coming off of a subpar performance. Oh. Oh, let me let me try to catch Jamal Charlo coming off of three year layoffs. Let me catch. Let me try to catch Jamel coming off of an injury. Yeah. Let, let me catch all these fighters at the right time coming off of bad performances. What type of performance was Lomachenko coming off of when he fought Devin Haney? Was it a good performance or a subpar performance? What about Regis Prograde? What type of performance was Regis Prograde coming off of when he fought Devin Haney? I'm what about Jojo Diaz? Did Jojo Diaz, was that a real good performance he put on Javier Fortuna? Or was that a, was that a tough fight for him? So if y'all really, if y'all really want to do that, if you if you really want to talk about, hey man, who's moving, who's who's moving like Canelo? Well, there's there, <laughs> there there's certain there's a certain fighter out there that likes old ass fighters coming off of bad performances, just like Canelo likes old ass fighters coming off of bad performances. You know. Canelo likes to fight small motherfuckers, right? Little bitty motherfuckers, small, small. Weight advantage and shit. Likes to fight small motherfuckers, little, little bitty motherfuckers. Who stayed at the weight class from the time they turned pro for almost a decade so they could fight little bitty small motherfuckers? How, who, who is it that's been a, been a, been a professional for? Almost 10 years now and finally about to fight somebody they size. Who is that? Who who is that? Who who doing that? Who had 
who has that in common with Canelo? Interesting. So I want to pair. Yeah, I want to compare a tank to him. Okay. <laughs> All right then. Just be careful. Just be careful when you do that, bro. <laughs> Just be careful when you make comparisons. And since you want to be petty, I could be petty. Since y'all, since you want to do that, I can be petty. Because being, being fair, you know what I'm saying? Being fair don't get you nowhere. So I can be petty. Canelo Alvarez is a is a known drug cheat. He fucking cheated. Between between uh between the people that we talking about, who's working with the steroid guru? Who's working with the guy who said the testing is so bad? I can make sure that my people pass that test 100% of the time because those tests is so easy to pass. Who's working with that guy? Who working with that guy? Who, who doing that? Since y'all want to do that shit, since you since you want since you want to be petty and you want to do whole shit and you want to make comparisons and shit that people don't deserve. Is that what we doing? I'm just asking, bro. So when I tell y'all I don't want to talk about something in my chat, bro, stop doing that. I'll be trying to let y'all make it. I'll be trying to let your favorite fighter make it and shit. But don't really get me going in my bag, bro. Because if you really want to compare some shit, Devin Haney moved more like Canelo than Tank Davis. Straight like that. Devin Haney moves more like Canelo than Tank Davis does. Yeah, just like him. Just like him. Shout out Planet 619. Oh, shout out my homie. Did I catch Doug? Doug Right Side give the 10 more memberships to the channel, bro. Appreciate you, Right Side. Showing support. He keeping he getting y'all right today. And shout out to my homie Planet 619. Five piece. No biscuit in the super chat. Called people a coon when they said they thought Loma beat dead. But deflect on behalf of Canelo to attack a black boxer. Phony shit. Yeah. Yeah, that's a that's a fact. That's a fact, bro. You ain't lying. I got some snack at the house. Facts, Jay Grant. <laughs> Jay Grant said he got them supplements. Jay Grant strong in the motherfucker. <laughs> He's strong in the motherfucker, y'all. All right, man. One more topic, then I'm dropping the link, man. Yeah. Do y'all think Terrence Crawford going to get a fight from the PBC? For those y'all been living under a rock, Terrence Bud Crawford became Tim Zoo's mandatory. So he is going to be in line to get the winner between Tim Zoo and Sebastian Fundora. Tim Zhu and Sebastian Fundora. Shout out to my homie Night Rider 16. Gifting 10 memberships to the channel. He gifted it to Brandon Wright. Rachel Donair. Rachel's in the building. What's good, Rachel? Toby Agugua. Texas Rattlesnake. Vince Williams. Big OG. Big Drip Auto. Omega Lucario. We got uh 193 likes. Let's see if we can get the 200, y'all. Let's get. Let's see if we can get the uh. What the hell going on? There we go. Let's see if we can get the 200, y'all. Do y'all think Bud Crawford is gonna actually get a big fight from the PBC? Meanwhile, Tim Zoo busy calling out a crippled Spence. Sounds like fear to me, and I'm a Tim Zoo fan. Listen, bro. Terry says, thank you for the gifted memberships. Salute to y'all. Appreciate y'all. DJ, what's happening, bro? DJ! Saquon, bro? <laughs> Why? Why does Howie Roseman have to do something all the fucking time, DJ? 
Saquon, bro. I hope he get hurt in the preseason, dog. <laughs> Nick J, what's up? Queens of Boxing talking to the building. Y'all go check him out, man. They're doing good work over there. DJ, I hope I hope he get hurt in the preseason. Nothing serious. Just, just you know, just enough for us to get a lead in the division and shit, man. I hope he get hurt in the preseason, bro. Anyway, back to what I'm talking about. Do y'all think Crawford's going to get the big fight from the PPC? And shout out to the homie DJ for becoming a member to the channel, man. My guy. Salute, DJ. Got that exclusive content up there, DJ. We drop exclusive content every week, bro. Fight predictions only for the channel members. Look, bro. I hope that he does because I want to see Terrence Crawford get up to 154 and make some noise. I want to see him fight the winner, Tim Zufa and Dora. I want to see him fight Jamel Charlo. I want Spence to get up there and, and build himself back up, and I want to see Spence and Crawford um, at 154. Um, I don't know if it'll go any different, but I want to see him make noise and try to become three-time undisputed champion, man. I do. But we be naive as boxing fans. Dante, what's up? We be naive as boxing fans. We be naive as analysts if we didn't say if the PBC was trying to make the fight between Terrence Crawford and Tim Zhu, they'd have offered him a Tim Zhu fight instead of offering him Jamel Charlo and Eris and Lupin, bro. If they had any interest in making that fight, they would have offered him Tim Zhu. If they had interest in making that fight and they were trying to make the fight, he wouldn't be taking the mandatory route that he's trying to take, becoming Tim Zhu's mandatory in the WBO. That wouldn't be happening. Right side, let me just finish this last topic, bro. Then I'm just going to open up the panel because it's, it's only an hour and 15 minutes left in the show. Yeah, I got you. Okay, you said keep me. All right, yeah, I got you. I got you. And when I tell y'all things, of course, bro, I'm open. I don't like Terrence Crawford. I don't like him, right? But the man's pound for pound number one. He beat Earl Spence's ass, and you want to see him in big fights. You know what I mean? You got, yeah, I, I, he's fun to watch fight. It is what it is. But will the way that he negotiated with Spence, the way that he negotiated with Al Heyman, the things that his team has said about Al Heyman, the um, way they walked away from negotiations the first time, will any of that factor in? And Will I him and be like, yeah, Tim Zoo. I mean, he calling you out or whatever. But we got Earl Spence over here. That's just as big of a fight. Or it's a, it's a bigger fight because Spence is, is blah, blah, blah. Will that happen? Will Bud force their hand and choose to, to go all the way to the sanctioning bodies? Because you got to remember, it's cool to be the mandatory, right? Oh, man, they're going to make them fight them. They're going to make they gonna make Tim Zoo fight them. What if Premier Boxing Champions? Don't want to offer what Bud is looking for. Do you think, for the sake of just becoming a champion, Bud will really fight on a mandatory split against Tim Zoo? And then PBC will, in all likelihood, make sure they win the purse bid. What if they try to send his ass down under and put him in a four by four? Is he willing to? He wasn't willing to play the B side to Earl. You think he'll be willing to play the B side to Tim Zoo? I think that fight could be harder to make than a lot of y'all think, man. Because if you don't think that PBC is gonna remember them hard line negotiation tactics, if you don't think they're gonna, they're, if you don't think that they're gonna forget that, oh dog, we built up Earl Spence, we made him this name, we 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 managed him way better than Bob Aaron managed you, and then you were able to come along and get into his ear and talk him into a 50-50 split. And you were able to kind of make yourself the star of the show by walking out last and you did all this shit and you whooped his ass. That's a tough sale. That's a tough, that's a tough sale. And, and then if you're doing business, you premier boxing champions, you're gonna give them just one fight. Like, yeah, we'll we'll give you Tim Zoo. We got all these 154 pounders. We'll give you Tim Zoo on a one fight deal. Tim's doing a one fight deal so he can what take the belts and, and what drop them, take the belts, go somewhere else. That's just a lot trickier than y'all think, bro. 
It's a lot trickier than you think. Yeah, sour grapes. Shit. Straight up, sour grapes. And what did he just do? Turn down Jamel. Just turn he just turned down the other offer. He turned down Jamel Charlo and fucking um Erickson Lubin. He turning down their offers, walking away from the table. They fuck around and send that shit to purse bid, then what? And they win that hoe. Now you either now you done wasted your your, your little coin you tried to play, you done wasted that shit. Now they can use that shit to really try to negotiate with you. And really try to get you to do what they want. It's real. It's a real tricky situation for him. And he's a prideful individual, bro. Very, very prideful. And he could easily miss out on the opportunity. What if they say, "Man, look, we got this Earl Spence fight for, for, fight for you, Tim Zoo. You, you just won the WBC from Sebastian Fundora. Go ahead and uh, go ahead and drop that WBO. Go ahead and drop that WBO, and we'll make the Earl Spence fight versus you for the WBC. Do you think, but I'm about to look at the rankings right quick. Give me a second. Tim Zoo dropped that bitch. You think Bug gonna fight Josh Kelly for the? For the vacant WBO, you gonna go over there and fight Josh Kelly or some shit, bro? So I hope that Premier Boxing Champions will do business with him. I hope that they'll make the fight because Tim Zhu versus Bud Crawford, I love the fight. And I hope for Bud Crawford's part, he realizes all the smoke for the W for the WBO, all of the, all of the smoke for the WBC, everything at one fifty four. It behooves you to sign a multiple fight deal with the PBC. You should you should try to see if you can negotiate a deal with them. Tim Zhu, Jamel Charlo, and then maybe try to see if they'll put Earl Spence back on the contract on the back end. If not, Tim Zhu, Jamel Charlo, Erickson Lubin, three fight deal. It's wonderful. Absolutely wonderful for you. But if you try to play hardball again, Remember, you're playing hardball, not for undisputed. You'll be trying to play hardball negotiating from a mandatory position. It's a lot different negotiating with a motherfucker when you got the last belt that, that's needed for undisputed and you got somebody as steadfast as Earl Spence is and trying to fight you. You had some things in your favor that you may not necessarily have in your favor when it comes to negotiating this fight as a mandatory. Because if Tim Zoo is cool with, well, shit, I could fight Bud. But they say they got Earl for me. They're going to pay me about the same. What if Tim Zoo, because of your performance over Earl Spence, what if he looking at Earl Spence as an easier fight for the same amount of money? Then what? You going to fight for the vacant? And this is a good question from the homie. Shout out to Roe Hodge, 20 piece. No biscuit in the super chat. He ain't say no. He just showing love. Drake say, "Uh, why Tim Zoo gonna listen to that shit after they didn't deliver mail? Cause it wasn't their fault. Same reason David Benavidez will look to him. See, they had the ability to say, Tim Zoo, man, we got the fight and shit. We got, we got you to fight. You know what I'm saying? We got him to sign. He hurt his hand, and then he got a Canelo Alvarez opportunity. Anybody gonna take that opportunity, Tim? If we got you a Canelo fight." If Canelo came over here and picked you, you take that shit too. And Tim Zoo know he would. So anybody would. Anybody would. If Canelo said, I want Tim Zoo instead of Jamel Charlo, Tim Zoo would have pulled out that motherfucker, man. <laughs> That's how you get him to listen. Canelo came and he wanted Jamel Charlo, and it was an offer Jamel couldn't refuse. But you know, we did everything we could to get the fight done. And we got you, and and look, when that happened, they did right by him, drink. They did right by him. What they do? They made his fight for the WBO title and stripped Jamel Charlo the moment he walked in the ring. And they're doing right by him right now. Oh, Keith Thurman fell out. We're going to get Sebastian Fundora to move up off of what he was fighting for, and we're going to petition the WBC on your behalf to make it a motherfucking unification fight. They doing right by him, bro. That's why he would listen. In my opinion, because they can't control Jamil. 
That's what I think, bro. But I think it's gonna I think it's gonna be harder than some of y'all think, bro. I think it's gonna be because you would think that the WBO super status and becoming the mandatory gives Terrence Bud Crawford leverage, but it really gives Al Heyman and them leverage because they get to see, okay, well, what's the what's the what's the purse split? What y'all ordering? Oh, y'all ordering a 55-45 split in Tim Zoo favor. Now they can go to Terrence Crawford and be like, well, shit, we could let it go to purse bid. He's gonna get the majority of the money anyway, or we could just negotiate and you can give in to something. So it don't really give him leverage, it, it could get him to fight. But it gives PBC the, the foresight of knowing this is what the purse bid is going to be. And I don't know if the WBO, maybe the L-Dub's in the chat, he can, he can let me know. I know the WBC has extenuating circumstances where their purse split for a champion versus a mandatory challenger is 70-30. But depending on market value, they can make certain adjustments and certain changes to that shit if you're a big enough name. I don't know if the WBO has that same shit. I haven't read it. If somebody in the chat has read it, please negotiate me. But if they don't, and the shit go to purse bid and they get ordered and shit, and it's a 70-30 split in favor of fucking um, Tim Zoo, PBC can look at him like, hey, man, you know, if you don't want to play ball, if you don't want to take what we're offering for the fight... Jay says, it, yeah, Shakur and Heron. Okay, yeah. So maybe he can get something on some extenuating circumstances type shit. Maybe they'll do that for him. We'll see. But I want the fight, so I hope they I hope they make it for him, bro. I hope I hope they make it for him. And I hope he's smart enough to realize that his best move is to be over on PVC where all the smoke is at, at 154 pounds. Shout out to my homie Doug Right Side. Five piece. No biscuit in the super chat. He said, shout out to one of the greatest chats and one of the best boxing minds, my brother, KO. We have never forget. We, we can never forget Miss KO. Yeah, that's facts. He just reminded me, Shakur Stevenson and Jamel Heron. Yep, I remember that shit. But what if Tim Zoo and Sebastian Fundora do good numbers? Will he get 60-30, you know, 63-30 in favor of Tim Zoo? Will it be 50-50? Will Bud be okay splitting 50-50 with a smaller name? You know what I mean? I just, Tim Zoo is a dog, and I want to see that fight. So I hope that they make the fight in Premier Boxing Champions and Bud Crawford. Set y'all pride to the side. Give us what we want. And for Bud, man, I want a multiple fight deal, bro. I want, I want fucking Tim Zoo first, Jamel Charlo second, and then Ter Errol Spence in my world. If we can't get that, I do shit. Fucking Tim Zoo first. If he beats Sebastian Fundora, the winner of that fight, I gotta quit disrespecting Fundora. The winner of that fight versus the um ver the winner of that fight versus Bud first. Then um motherfucking Jamel Charlo and then Erickson Lubin. Or if Erickson Lubin first, because Jamel ain't ready, he wanna get a fight in first. Jamel can be at the back end of that deal and then maybe renegotiate a uh, um Earl Spence deal and they can both ride off into the sunset getting a big bag again. Madrimov ain't over there, though. Madrimov ain't over there, bro, and that's the problem, Rolo. That would mean that they would give him a one-fight deal, and I don't see that shit happening, bro. Madrimov ain't over there with Premier Boxing Champion. That means that they would give him a one-fight deal and let him walk off to go fight Madrimov, hoping that he'll come back with the two belts? I don't see that. I don't see that, bro. Merchants I live. I, any champion, l -Dub, I want to see three-time undisputed, bro. Any champion, I'm cool with. Any fucking champion, I'm cool with. And the non-champions I would want would be a, a Earl Spence and a Jamel Charlo. That, that, that would be what I wanted. Bro. Who do I want to see Earl fight next? I'll answer that, then I'm going to drop the link for everybody. Earl Spence need to get off his high horse and fight Keith Thurman. I saw that he said he won't fight him. Um, he ain't he ain't fucking with it, blah blah blah, all that shit. Cool, no problem. You you entitled to do whatever you want to do, but bro, that's the best possible fight for you right now. It's a big fight. You can get a bag, you can get money, and y'all is both in the same point. Long layoffs, um, coming off of injuries and shit. He need to fight Keith Thurman. He need to get off of that shit, bro. He need he need to get off of that shit. He need to get off of that shit. He need to get off of that shit, bro. That's not a good look. 
you can't fight you can't not want to fight a motherfucker that you should be fighting it ain't about who he need to fight sir those are the biggest fights for him he won his bag he won his bag bro Shout out to the homie Just Do Boxing. 10 piece. No biscuit in the super chat. Salute to my guy KO. Keep cooking, bro. Peace to a real one. Smash the like button, family. Let me take this link out of here and then open it up for the uh for the fam, for everybody that want to come up. Hold on. Let me take the smoke link out there, baby. Man, because don't nobody want it. What up, Dank? Late ass. Carmen Serene, I see you. Salute. Seen you been over there cooking on Blue Blood. Good job. Good job. Keep doing your thing. All right, that's the link for anybody want to come up, man. Shout out to the homie T T Bro, I want to say Terry. And if I say this shit wrong, I'm sorry. But the shit look like your mama got fancy and your name is Terrell, bro. Let me know if I'm wrong. All right, let me know if I'm wrong. But it looked like your mama got fancy with the spelling of your name and she named you Terrell. She just wanted to say the shit different. She wanted to spell the shit different. So I'm going to say Terrell W, five piece. No biscuit in the super chat. He didn't even say nothing. He just showing support. And if I got your name wrong, let me know how to say it. Bro. Let me know how to say that shit. Shout out to Hunter on the hunt. Ten piece. No biscuit in the super chat. He say, KO my guy. I'm late, but I'm here. I appreciate you being here, bro. I appreciate you being here. He said, you right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, I'm saying. <laughs> I, I hey hey brother to brother I know I know when mamas be getting fancy with them names and shit man I know I know I know when mama when mama be getting fancy with the names dog I got a mute you paid in for you had the background I I, I bring you off mute in a minute but yeah bro I could I could tell bro I could tell your name Terrell dog your mama said I'm gonna spell it with the I instead of the E. <laughs> She looked. She looked at the the normal spelling of Terrell. She said, "That ain't good enough for my baby. That <laughs> ain't it ain't good enough for my baby. He got a special name. He got a special oh, name. I got, I'm gonna put the I instead of the E. That what your mama did, dog. I already know it. Bro. I, I, I already knew it when I saw it. when I saw it. I already knew it, bro. Shout out to Rachel Donner gifting ten memberships to the channel. Appreciate you, Rachel. She hooked up. Well, let's see who she hooked up, man. Miss Rachel Donaire, hope all is she well. Up, Thanks uh, for doing that. She hooked up coffee, Trav 202, El Padrino, JKX, Peon Toto, Big Ray, Philly Blunt, uh, BS0128, and uh, Cuban Nikki. Man, appreciate that, Rachel. Thank you. Thank you for supporting the channel, man. All right, who else we got? I got uh, gotta get Anthem up here. All right, let me do it like that right there. All right, right side, man. You've been up, you've been back there, man. Go ahead, man. What you got for the show, man? Hey, okay, hey, when you drop a membership like Rachel just did, like you said earlier, you get to see who watching and they ain't even saying nothing. They just watching in the background. Shout out to those brothers. You know what I'm saying? You got it absolutely correct when you talk about um, EJ. E e EJ got to fight. E e he got to fight Keith Thurman. You know what I'm saying? And the reason being is because like you broke down uh, very uh, uh, um, analytically, there's no way with, with both of them coming off of the surgery or, or excuse me, the injuries that they've had, uh, the layoffs that they've had, you got to get off your high horse at some point in time. If it ain't Keith Thurman, then who is it? We know it ain't going to be Bud no more. So that's the first thing. The second thing I is... You want to go back on free TV and fight Erickson Lubin or some shit? No. We, do you expect that? No, but if you're going to want to be on pay-per-view, bro, you at a point in your career, you got to build yourself back up. You ain't the same. You got to show, like, it ain't no different for Earl, bro. And I fuck, and Earl, my God, man, it's Dallas, Texas all day around that bit. But you got to you gotta show that you back. You got to show that you got to show that that shit was an anomaly. You got to show that you can be the same fighter. But this was the, this is the prime opportunity because of the situation that, that just happened. You got Keith Thurman going over the fight, or well, not even going over but going to fight uh, um, Tim Zhu, getting injured, right? Even though that fight wasn't going to be for a championship. Now you got Keith Thurman. He's available, coming off an injury, uh, a two-year layoff. He ain't fought since he fought Barrios. I mean, this is the – EJ, man, you got to capitalize on this. You got to capitalize. Uh, uh, you need to come back soon, bro. 
And no, to y'all asking in the chat, he got he's a WBA 154 pound champion, my Jamal. He beat the Russian dude. The dude name was uh Kurt Kurbinov. He beat Kurbinov over there on the ESPN Plus card on the Anthony Joshua undercard. Yeah, the Anthony Joshua um in Gunu undercard put on a real good performance, stopped the Russian dude. Yes, he Stop. did. He put on a real good. That was a good performance. I got great body work. Started. Great body work in that fight. Great body work. You got anything else? Um, I'm gonna pass it, bro. If no, you, pass yeah. the mic. Pass the mic. All right, we got uh, we got the homie paid in full. Paid in full. You good? Yeah, man. My, I'm just in the car right now, man. My bad. I'm on my way to the crib. You good? What you got for what you got for the show? Opening statement, man. Man, I'm uh, I'm gonna just say like this, bro. Uh, I said that about you. Know what I'm saying when you mentioned the snack shit, I mentioned that to you before, bro. About like, I don't, I, I wouldn't say that Devin cheating and no shit like that or anybody that's with snack that's cheating. But, bro, if you got a nigga that's openly done said some shit like he can circumvent a damn test, bro, like, that that should be, that, that shit is scary, bro. Because you don't know what the fuck, you, he probably can, you know what I'm saying, let the motherfuckers know when body is coming and everything like that or when not to take shit. Like, that shit is scary. But I ain't going to put that coat on his back, bro. But fuck Canelo, he's a pussy. Not <laughs> That nigga, I'm, I'm tired of motherfuckers making excuses for that nigga to act. David Benavidez has been his motherfucking mandatory for a while, bro. And for you to be saying half of the shit that he be saying, bro, it's like it's crazy, man. And people keep giving him passes. And don't nobody ever try to compare that nigga to Floyd again. Because last I checked, <laughs> Floyd, has, Floyd has beat more champions than that nigga has beat within his time in boxing, the period. You ain't got to do all that. Floyd Fuck fucking beat that. him. You, you ain't got to do all that. Floyd beat him. Exactly. Yeah, he, 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 he beat the fuck out of him. Exactly. It made that nigga look like a C-class fighter, though, at that. Made him look like a C-class fighter. But, um... Uh, and for motherfuckers, like, that's why I said, my man, people just need to be stop, stop hating on Tank, bro. Like, that shit is sad, bro. Like, these, they want to big up. I, and I, I ain't even going to try to make this into no race shit, bro. But it's sad, bro. These niggas are going against their own motherfucking people, bro. For a nigga that won't eat, that that's actually making them motherfuckers pay for their pay-per-view. Like, that shit is crazy, bro. Like, Canelo, he, he serving his people and giving that shit to them free, but making us pay for that shit, though. Like... Oh, that nigga bad for boxing, bro. I don't give a fuck. Nobody said that nigga bad for boxing, bro. Already, already, bro. Shout out to the homie Terrell uh, W with the two piece. No biscuit and super chat. He say Earl can rematch Danny at 154. I think he beat Danny too clean for me to want to see a rematch. Oh, last thing, my bad, before you go. Uh, with, the yeah, go and, with the Earl and with the Earl and Keith shit, man. I don't, I don't really think. <laughs> Keep really bring shit to the table for Earl though. If he trying to move up to 54 and get a belt or get in line for a belt, I don't really think that's Man, Earl need to fight, bro. Earl yeah. need to fight. Like it's yeah. a good fight. They two of the top fighters of their generation. We wanted to see the fight for years. Bro, all this bring like that. Like, and I and you ain't it ain't cause you do it, but all this bring this to the table, man. You you know what he brings to the table. Fans want to see that shit, bro. Yeah, but KO, but, but KO, think about this though. Think about what the motherfuckers are gonna say after he said that he wouldn't fight him though. Think but but, but at the same time, you, you you can't have it all them type of ways, even though you said that previously. At this current moment in time, this is a this is a good fight for you. It allows you to still fight on pay-per-view as well as it could be quote unquote a tune up if 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 you the goods that we think you are, which I ain't gonna hold you. I think this is a tougher fight. After after what I seen from EJ and Bud, I think this is a much tougher fight now. I'm just telling you, I think it's a tougher fight now. I think it's a tougher fight. Let me pass it around, bro. Let me pass it around, y'all. Let me pass it around before we open up the panel. Everybody get going. We got Dean next. Dean, what's up? Forty mil bill is what they call. Um, y'all are out your mind. I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> y'all are out your mind. I got to okay. hold everybody accountable. If I ain't letting Bud Crawford fight Keith Thurman, I ain't letting Earl do it. And Earl is my guy, y'all know. Earl, don't do what everybody else do and go against your word. We rock with you because you keep your word. Keith, so who fight you, anybody so who else you gonna Keith fight? Thurman. Fight Brian Mendoza. I don't give a you damn. Know, Brian Mendoza? <laughs> Fight Brian Mendoza. We said he need a fight, right? Get a fight. It better not be Keith Thurman. 
because when y'all was when y'all had that opportunity, you he did not give it to y'all. And if I'm, I'm gonna hold Bud Crawford for going against his word, like I did, and I'm a Bud fan too, I gotta hold my second favorite fighter accountable. See, knockout, they say that we not consistent and we just buy this some unbiasedness for your ass. No, 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 no. Did I say no? No again. Fight anybody else at 154. It's a lot of dogs at 154, Earl. And yeah, all this, and it's the other thing, y'all. I'm disappointed in y'all. It's dogs at 154. Whoever he fights is going to be a dog fight. Oh, they coming yeah. for Earl now. You know, you you know when you see a wounded a, a lion that gets wounded, yeah. and he was the king yeah. of the jungle. He gets wounded. Oh, they, they feel like they can get him. Oh, yeah. they feel yeah. like they can get him. Yeah, but, but, yeah. but but this is the problem. The, the, the oh, problem right, is nah, hold, everybody, everybody, hold on. Let me just pass it around. And we'll just remember. I, yeah, pass it around. Now, I'm done that. I just wanted to open up. No, no, yeah, let me let me get let me get everybody else in here. We got Antho next, then we got uh Cass, and then we'll we'll open up the panel. Antho, what's up? What it do, baby? What it do, man? Chilling, man. Chilling. What you got for the show, bro? Yeah, shout out to the panel. Shout out to UKO, man. You already know, man. I'm gonna pull up. You know what I'm saying? But see. I ain't gonna lie, low key though. I I kind of feel like uh, I might ride with Fundora against goddamn me uh against goddamn me uh what's his goddamn name? Tim oh, Zoo. Tim, yeah, Tim Zoo. Zoo. I might. I, I'm thinking about going with Fundora, bro. He just, you know, it's a late replacement. When you just look at the the everything's a late replacement. The size difference and how that nigga Fundora fight, bro. I think he gonna be. He might be a little problem for that nigga ass, bro. Like real talk, he he fuck around and get a nigga some, a little punishment, you know what I'm saying? And then with the spin situation, bro, it's like I just really right at this point, I just really want to see my boy get back in the ring. I don't give a damn who he fight. I heard you. I hear you. Uh, I think Tim Zoo should be favored in that fight. That's all I'm gonna say. I gotta say the prediction and the breakdown for the members, but. <laughs> I think Tim Zoo should be favored in that fight. Bro. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm, I already know. I'm, I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna leave it at that. Like, knockout. You just gave it away. You know? hey, hey. hey, I ain't gonna hold you. I think Tim Zoo. I think Tim Zoo. Nah, it, 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 it's just, it, it's just some shit. I feel just you, bro. I'm just playing. Shit just seems so obvious, bro. You know what I mean? Like, I, yo, that motherfucker blind, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey, 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 and that motherfucker just you? waiting. He just waiting on the overhand right, bro. He's what, just like, <laughs> what, what, what's the better fight, knockout? Keith Thurman and Tim Zoo or uh, Fundor and Tim Zoo? What's the better Tim fight? Zoo and I agree. I agree. Because, because it's actually because number one, Keith Thurman and um and Tim Zoo is at a catch weight. Number two, Keith Thurman ain't did nothing, and it wasn't no belt on the line. It was some stupid ass who gays ass shit. Where Keith Thurman, if Tim Zoo lost, then they was gonna strip him. But right. if Keith Thurman won. <laughs> And he wasn't gonna be the champion, like so. That shit was bullshit. That shit turned me off. Keith Thurman ain't fought in, 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 in he had Two one years. fight in four years. So I don't yeah. like him getting that opportunity over Fundora. Who yes, Fundora is coming off of a knockout loss to Brian Mendoza, but at least he put in work at one fifty four. And I like the idea of the of the um division getting consolidated again with two belts being on line versus no belts being on line and the motherfucker basically fighting to keep his belt or get stripped. And motherfucker fighting for no belt just for a payday. So I like the Fundora fight better because I think it's better for boxing. I think it sends a better message to fight fans. And um Fundora deserves a shot over Keith Thurman. I'm not saying Fundora deserves a shot yeah. over other over other guys, but if my options are Fundora versus Zoo for two belts, or Zoo versus Keith Thurman for no belt. I'm gonna take Tim Zoo versus Fundora all day. So that's why hey, look I agree. I agree. That dumb ass shit. Huh? I said, why you think they did that dumb ass shit when Keith Thurman was gonna fight Sue? Like that shit was kind of real. Like because the, w, because the WBO is backed by Bob Arum and Bob Arum is the direct competitor of um PBC and Premier Boxing Champions, and he don't want that belt on the line. He's trying to block Al Heyman at every turn. Al Heyman trying to block him at every turn. Match room is they all trying to compete. Golden Boy, all that shit. So yeah, on some competitive shit. Bob Abram, in my opinion, I don't have no facts on this. In my opinion, he hit them up like, yo, y'all gonna let this motherfucker fight for this WBO belt, all the sanctioning fees I give y'all, all the fighters I put in y'all system, all the money that we pay. I basically created this sanctioning body, and you gonna let Keith Thurman fight for this motherfucker, and he wasn't even in the rankings? 
Yeah, facts. Yeah. I think they I think that's why they that's why they 86 that shit. Uh, all right, we got one more, then we'll open up the panel. We got um Cash in the building. Cash, hold on a second. Uh shout out to Big Supreme with the five piece. No biscuit in the super chat. He say Fundora got LASIK eye surgery. Be surprised. He say he got LASIK. Okay. My bad, I ain't know that, bro. He needed that shit. That motherfucker blind. That boy wearing thick ass glasses, bro. Straight up. All right, uh, Cash, so you go ahead. Sleep. Well going, well going. No call. Right, son. What's good, bro? Chilling, man. Chilling. What you got for the show, man? Yeah, man. I just know. I just hear you got. Well, I heard one individual saying Canelo Alvarez is a pussy. You did that. What? Like, I don't. I don't support those type of words. I don't call fighters bums. Telling, calling a man a pussy. Calling a man a pussy. You know, pussy. Uh, excuse me. Excuse me. How is he a pussy? Let him, let him, let him cook. Let him cook. Pain mm-hmm. and food. We about to open up the panel. Y'all can. Y'all can get it in. Let him cook. Though. Go ahead. So, Go ahead. What, what's, so what is the fact is that. You calling him a pussy is ridiculous because a guy that's held um, multiple world championships in four weight classes from light middleweight to light heavyweight, including unifying titles in three of those weight classes, lineal two lineal titles in two of those, and he's only the, he's the first ever and first only boxer to do it, getting undisputed in super middleweight. So you calling him a pussy is just doesn't make any sense. You get me? So I shut that shit down, and then Fundora and Timsu, that's a good fight. Uh, it's interesting fact, decent matchup. And KO, you said that uh, you said that because if you don't have David Benavidez and Tank Davis is your top five, top five exciting fighters, that means I'm you're, you're hating. That's nice. That's nice. So exactly. What is. Yes. Is that your opinion, or are you just trying to base that on what facts? Or what? what five fighters are more exciting than those two in boxing? In a, in a way, Terence Crawford, Usyk, Mongia. There's multiple, but but multiple guys. Huh? We do no know. one. If we did a poll, you know, no one would pick Munguia. There's no poll. No one. one no one would say. No one would say that Usyk or Munguia are more it's entertaining. The facts. Than had. How had is it? What year. makes it? What makes it a fact that Munguia had facts? Munguia was candidate. We, we'll, we'll, go one, we'll go one. We'll go one at a time. We'll go, we can go. We can go one at a time. We ain't got to talk over each other. I was. I wasn't finished. You get me? So you interrupted me. You asked me a question, and it's my channel. So if I interrupt you, I interrupt you. See, that's what I'm saying to you. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead. You, you go ahead and finish, but you ask me a question, bro. You can't just you ain't just gonna say something and I'm not gonna respond to it. Go ahead and finish, bro. No, no, go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead and finish, bro. I'm, no, I'm no, allowing, no, 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 go ahead. Go ahead I'm go allowing ahead. you to finish, bro. Go no, ahead. No, I'm allowing you to go ahead. Go ahead, man. You're not allowing me to do anything, bro. Don't You're not allowing me to do anything. You're not allowing me to do anything. Don't get I am. I'm allowing you to be up here and I'm allowing you to finish, bro. I'm allowing you to finish. Cash, don't get weird on I'm me. Cool. I'm not getting weird with you, but get me. Finish, your, respect, finish what you were respect. saying, bro. You don't want to finish what you were saying? No, I want you to finish what you're saying. All right, shout out Rohaj with the 20 piece in the cat in the super chat. KO, Keith Thurman is done, bro. What do you think about Shakur trying to make a deal to fight Ryan? They all want tank leftovers. I think Shakur is fucking capping, bro. He already has a fight day for July 6th. He's not serious about fighting motherfucking uh, Ryan Garcia on a one month notice or Devin Haney on a one month month notice. He's just doing everything he can to get attention, just like when he fake fucking retired, right? And now he's on Twitter going at everybody. He want to fight Ryan Garcia. He want to fight Devin Haney. He waiting for by the phone for for Tank Davis to call. Him. Shakur is on the clout. He's on the clout spree right now, in my opinion, bro. So that's why I think Rohaj. I, I don't think they should be serious at all. All right, panel, panel, panel open, bro. Panel open. Let me ask. Don't ask me that question. Hold on, one at a time, y'all. Everybody go. One yeah, yeah. I can't talk over each other, bro. No, go but ahead. I'm saying, but he, but he, he, he said something about. He what said I'm that saying, you. Bro. He said that you can't call Canelo a pussy, and then he explained yeah. why he didn't think you should be calling Canelo a pussy. You can go ahead and respond to him. Okay, the nigga a pussy simply because, like I said, he's been ducking for the longest, bro. How many times more? Who who you know in your motherfucking right mind been offered up front 200, 200, 200 million dollars, bro, just to fight a nigga? What's up, Ko? What's happening, not, bro? Not only that, the niggas are fucking talking about today, man. Man, they cooking. You you can hear them. They cooking on Canelo right now. Go ahead, pay them for. Not even that. The niggas a fucking cheater, bro. And then that's the only nigga I know. <laughs> so, to get so, away so, with so, you lost, so you so you call him. A, so I'm not gonna deny the fact that he failed the drug test. But did you look into the drug test? Uh, the whole country, rem- uh, Suleiman came out and said that the country has been infected with Comblero. We don't know nigga, how he took. We don't know. It. We don't know how he took in that Comblero. Yes, I just said to you that he failed the drug test. Yes, I said that. But it's the fact so, that so, we don't know that. We okay. don't know that. We don't know the underlayers of how he felt that. The whole football okay, team so of Mexico. I- the whole football team of Mexico got got um cancelled for Comblero. 
So when you run on the same, when you run on the real quick, Kev, let me ask you this. Hold on, hold on, Kev. Respectfully, I say this respectfully. Let me just, let me. I just want to ask one question. Who else? Who else? Who else? Hold on, hold on, Kev. Real quick, real quick, Kev. I'm agreeing with you. I'm agreeing with you. I'm just asking, who else failed the same test? Boxing style. Luis, 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 Luis That was a power punch. Luis, Luis, that was a Luis, power Luis Nerdy, Who else Luis failed that Luis test? Luis Nerdy failed the same test. Um, the whole football team, the whole Mexican football team, failed the test. You get me? So when you're running around, oh, saying, so Luis Nerdy. Okay. All right. No, 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 Luis Nerdy. Luis Nerdy is your answer. What's ridiculous is saying that Hami Mangia is even close to David Benavidez and Jermon yeah, yeah. Davis and entertainment value. I'm not about to argue with nobody that's so, talking so about so, Ami so, Mangia so, so, so is it down more of an don't exciting fighter don't, don't than David Benavidez. Don't get emotional. Don't get emotional. Can you don't stop cutting me off? Because you ask people to stop cutting you off. So can you stop cutting you me off? Your Thank you, Mr. You London guy. Break it down you with said facts. respect, right? Yeah, you ask yeah. not to get cut off, and as soon as I start talking, you cut me off. Please be quiet. From Philly to the UK, like I said, I'm not about to argue with nobody that comes up and say something that's idiotic as. See, that's what I'm gonna cut you off. Uh, that's what I'm gonna cut you off. Hold, hold, hold on, another cut off. My opinion is idiotic. Your hey, bro. Okay. Hey. Hey. Hey, hey, man. You that nigga, bro. You him, bro. You that nigga, bro. Cash, bro. You gotta chill out, man. You not finna come over here and, and, and thank you about the run shit, bro. Calm down, he, bro. He think high move gear is a drug. Bro, no one's no one's running nothing. I have Calm down, bro. I like when motherfucker quit talk. quit you cutting you 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 acting like a wrecking ball cutting everybody the fuck off. Let people what talk and then respond to him, bro. Go what ahead, Dean. Dean, finish what you were saying, then cash. You can respond to him. Hey, when you get just, just the simple fact, um, just the simple fact knockout that you gotta say that to somebody that was talking about respect. This just shows the hypocrisy in people. He was just talking all this stuff about respect. The fact that you got to oh. tell him that it's your channel and he shouldn't cut people off while they're talking <laughs> is, is idiotic, like I said the first time. But let me get back to it. So I'm you, not about so to argue with nobody about So you think you can disrespect me? Is that what you think? Bro, bro, didn't nobody, bro, didn't you keep nobody cutting him off, bro. He can't do bro. it. He can't do it. He's you got to so emotional, man. Let him talk. And I promise you're going to have the same shit. When it's your turn to talk, ain't nobody going to cut you off, bro. Go ahead, Dean. Finish and then cash. It's on you after him. Go ahead, Dean. Um, again, not about to argue with nobody that is talking about respect. Then I make the point and says he's idiotic about the point of him talking about disrespect, and then he cuts me off again. Like I said, to sit up there and say homie man gear, to say that knockout doesn't have a point about saying that Gervonta Davis and David Benavidez are two of the most exciting fighters in boxing. That's not even an argument. It's it's a similar argument to Loma's a better knockout puncher, a knockout fighter than Gervonta. Like, what are That's we cat. talking about? I don't I don't have I don't have conversations like this that means nothing that the whole world knows not true. It's probably nobody in the chat that would even agree with this statement. So whatever. But at the end of the day. Let's talk about something real. Because how many men get you being a more exciting fighter than Javante Davis and David Benavidez is just not true. All right, Can Cash, I say something real quick? Hey, let Cash respond because you were talking to Cash. Then ARP is on you. Go ahead, Cash. So you don't you, listen, sir. You can't debate me because you don't watch enough boxing and you don't know enough fighters. You get me? You only you only watch a certain amount of fighters. So don't so don't come and tell me about idiotic. You don't want idiotic because so because I don't agree with your opinion. I'm I'm an idiot. I'm idiotic. Does that that don't make no sense? That don't make no sense. So get out of your feelings. Take your head out of your ass. You get me? And go watch some facts because if I said to you, name me five of Mongia's opponents, you couldn't name any. So you get me? You can't break down nothing with me. You can't you can't do it. Nobody you know, can't can name. Five you can't of do his it. Opponents. You you can't do it. I was just about to say that. You can't do it. He got forty. Fight, you have your opinion. You have your opinion. For. I got my opinion. But don't come up here and talk about I'm an idiot and all this other stuff. You have no facts. What's the four or criteria of the box? Come back to what you're saying. You hear, you hear me? How do you judge a boxing man? Yo, 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 yo. No count. He don't know. Knockout say that. I won't let you talk or whatever. It's this channel. It's my turn to talk now. So don't interrupt me, brother. From Philly, wherever the fuck you're from. Okay. You understand what I'm saying to you? <laughs> you joke, man. You don't, you don't watch enough boxing. You don't watch enough boxing. You understand what I'm saying to you? And where is it a fact? You show me where it's a fact where David Benavidez and Tank Davis are the most exciting guys more than those they guys. Knock the out thing is, I never said they, they knock is. out percentage. They is. They, so they way more excited. They way more excited. Y'all let them cook, man. Let them, let them, let them cook. Nah, 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 you're acting disabled. Ahead, you're acting disabled. I don't get it. Where is the fact? Show me the factual evidence 
where it says that those guys are more exciting fighters than those guys. I have my opinion. You got your opinion. Simple as. You're in your feelings because I don't agree with your opinion. That's what's wrong with weird, weird boxing fans today. Is <laughs> 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 is is, is McGee on pay per view? Has no. he ever been on pay per view? What the fuck? Why is he on pay per view? Yes, yes. Monguia is on pay per view. Yes, Monguia is on pay per view. Because of Canelo. Because of Canelo, has he he's ever headlined Canelo. a pay per view? He's gonna fight Canelo. Yes, he's on pay per view. Has he ever headlined a pay per view? This fight won't So you need to be. So you need to be. So for you to be an exciting fight, you need to headline and be on pay per view. Is that what I'm hearing? If you're important enough, hell yeah. No, that's what I'm saying. That's why you have to be. If you're important enough, hell yeah. No, that's what I'm saying. That's why you have to be. If you're important enough, hell yeah. No, that's what I'm saying. That's why you have to be. If you're important enough, hell yeah. No, that's what I'm saying. That's why you have to be. If you're important enough, hell yeah. No, that's what I'm saying. That's why you have to be. If you're important enough, hell yeah. No, that's what I'm saying. That's why you have to be. If you're important enough, that means that a lot of people want to watch you fight. If yeah, you're an exciting yeah, fighter, that means that you're talked about a lot, right? And to me, if you want to talk about top five exciting fighters in boxing, Alexander Usyk and Jaime Munguia belong nowhere on that list. No one's talking about Alexander Usyk. No one's, no one's talking about Jaime Munguia like that. KO, does, 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 Boost, does, does Boost deserve to be on that list? Of course. Yeah. Uh, of course. Be, how are you saying that? Hold on, wait, 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 on, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on. Let, but I, I asked my brother a question. <laughs> I mean, he, me he, 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 I don't God. know. I don't know if he cracks because I got, I got Terrence Crawford. I got Tank Davis. I got Dave Benavidez. I got Archie Paterbiel. Then you can have, you can have Boots, but I would also throw Canelo on there. Hell no. You can have, you can have, no, you, can have no. you can have, you can have Boots. But I would also I would also think of a fighter like uh Jesse Bam Rodriguez, Monster Anyway. Like it's a lot of guys, but I know damn well I think of Tank Davis and I think of David Benavidez before I would ever think of a Jaime Munguil or a fucking Sir uh fucking uh Alexander. So no count, so no count. So why did Munguil? Alexander Munguil is not more exciting so than David Morrell, and they are in the why, same why was division. For five of the year? Can you answer that, please? Jaime Munguil is not more exciting than question, David Morrell, and they are in the same what's your, division. What's your question? What's why your question? Was he, if he's not, he's trying, trying to take why, over why, the why show. That's he, what he's trying to do. He, is it, there must be something wrong with this guy. Can, can you put a leash? Can, What's your question, bro? So, like I said, why was he candidate of five of the year? Why was that? Who? He's not excited. Who? Make it make sense. No, who? Who? Who was candidate? Mongia. 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 You said what, what, what fighter about me and John Ryder. Fight, fight, fight of the year. You talking about fight of the year? You talking about his fight with Sergey Devranchenko? Yes, that was a candidate for five of the year. Yes. Yeah, I mean that's one exciting fight. That don't so make him one of the most exciting fighters. No, but you don't. Yeah, but obviously, obviously, you don't. Steven, Steven, hold on, hold on, hold on. See, this, and this is where this is where I get you, bro. Like, this is why this is why I'm the wrong person to be trying different little tactics and shit like that on. Because at the end of the day, you know who else had a, a candidate for fighter of the year? It was motherfucking Cool Boy Steph and Brandon Figueroa. Is anyone saying that Cool Boy Steph is one of the most exciting? That was a great fighters? fight. As a matter as a matter of fact, Hamid Munguia had a fight of the year candidate against a motherfucker that was almost 40 years old coming oh, up and oh, wait. Oh, here we go, here we go now, here we go now. It, 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 it shouldn't even wow. been, the fight shouldn't even been as exciting as it was, bro. Oh, is it? That's so how what, trash so, he is. So, so, so why is David Benavidez fighting Gozvik? Do you, do you know how long Go Gozvik retired for four years and came to back become, to become yeah, mandatory. To become yeah, the yeah, mandatory. To become mandatory for the winner of Kerbyev and Vival. Who really just started watching boxing? You're talking about boxing and you don't even know why you're doing it. Who really just started watching boxing, bro? Who oh, really just God. started watching but boxing? You started watching he's fighting, boxing, Gubsdick, you started watching he's boxing. fighting Alexander Govzdik because okay. that'll put him in position to be the mandatory for the winner of Arthur Baturbiev and Dimitri Bivar. But Incorrect. the thing is, only reason why he's fighting Govzdik is Incorrect. because they Canelo rematch, they they don't want to fight. They got the rematch clause. They got the rematch clause. You you say oh I just start watching. Who has who has a, has a rematch clause? Hold, hold on, okay. uh, but to the beef and beef, but to the beef and beef, rematch clause. That so, don't mean nothing. Uh, Canelo and Hamid. No, because they hold, hold on, hold on, hold on. He did a knockout. He just did a knockout. Everybody, hold on. Everybody, hold the fuck on. Why are you dick riding? I don't. So because hold on, hold on. So because so because they have a rematch clause, that means that he can't be their mandatory. No, it's more than likely that he's not going to fight the the person next. But will he be in position to be the mandatory? Um, I'm not sure because Bawatsi and Yard are going to fight. Sure, Bawatsi, but you talking Bawatsi, 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 Hey, brother, 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 why is Yard? Hey, brother, you're in your, you're in your feelings, brother, brother. Go smoke something. No, you just said you're not you. sure, but you watch boxing. That are you is the answer are, are to you that question. Do you know, do you know who Bawatsi is? It's the answer to that question. It is the answer to that question, sir. Do you know who Bawatsi is? What is the answer to that question? Hey, brother, you're not going to win this Don't say hey, brother, none of that. Do you know who Bawatsi is? What is the answer to the question? 
Do you know who Anthony Yard is and Boatsy is? I'm going to keep asking the same question. Hey, bro, you can keep doing that. Do you you know will, that hey, bro, you will not you over talk me. You must not know who you're talking to, sir. You must not know who you're talking to. You will not over talk me, my guy. You can't do it. You can't do it. I really, I really like, I really like. Can you go ahead and knock? I just wanted to say, just answer the question. Don't ask me nothing. Don't ask me nothing. I like us to answer each other's questions. So I will inform you guys since you don't know. Right, I will inform you that the WBC approved David Benavidez and Gobzik to fight at 175 for the interim title to become the mandatory to perturb Evan Bivol. So if I'm David Benavidez, not only am I in position right now as Canelo Alvarez is mandatory, I'm in, I'm going to put myself in position while I'm trying to fight Canelo. I'm putting myself in position to be the mandatory for perturb Evan Bivol too. Now I have a chance to pull a Terrence Crawford if I get the fights I want. I become undisputed in two separate weight classes if I can win them motherfuckers. Nothing wrong with that move. So, no, hey, no. can you name me? Can hey, you name, can you know name me? So, so, since I, so, since I don't watch enough boxing, can you name me the opponents that Gosvik came back off face fought? Please, do any of you know? I don't can you name? Can you name? I, I don't think four criteria is a judge in a boxing no. match. I ain't Before we start talking about boxing, hey, bro, hey, how do you hey, judge no, a boxing no, match? No, no, no. Chat to your chihuahua. No, no, no. First of all, bro, don't, don't, don't. Don't walk, don't walk, brother. bro. Uh, uh, yo, 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 to be real, bro, Stop. answer that. Let's talk to. about boxing. Since you so boxing, what is the four criteria of judging no, the boxing? Don't match? Ask you, no, and no, do no, it in under nothing. a minute. You a question. You're not skip and do it in under a minute. Don't think about it. That's not how it works. What is the four criteria of judging the boxing match? You're not skipping over my question. So oh, all right. I thought so. You don't fucking know. That's the problem. You don't know. How is that better to be? How is that better to be a post fight with David Benavides? And Benavides is over there at PBC. Can you explain that? This is why I don't argue with him. Say that again. You're an idiot. I said he keeps talking about David Benavides opponents and who he about to fight. Mugia got forty something fights, and who I can't name three of his opponents. But because you don't watch enough boxing, you don't watch boxing, and you don't. You can't say that. Nigga, you can't name five of them. You don't watch enough boxing. What kind of dumb shit are you talking about? What are the four criteria to judge a boxing match? Hey, bro, I'm not talking to you. What are the four criteria to judge a boxing match? Hey, dog, talking crazy, bro. Man, like for real, bro. He talking crazy. Yeah, because it's the internet. That's why. And he don't even know five of a Mugia opponents, bro. He don't even know the four. Are criteria is to judge a boxing match. Are you all right? What do you mean? I don't talking about. I don't watch it. I watch. Hey, you don't. Hey, you don't, hey, you don't uh, watch uh, boxing. Hey, hey, all right, let me let, let me do this. You get, you get some control. This, this is let, let me let me do this, bro. Because I'm trying I'm trying to let everybody be grown, but we we we, we falling off track. No, it's only one person knockout. Yeah, that's no, it's you, it's you, brother. It's you. When we when we talk, so I need to understand. So this whole thing came from Canelo Alvarez. And David Benavidez. Yeah, so you of the are you of the mindset that Canelo is not ducking David Benavidez? No, no, I'm saying to you that we'll see that when his career is done. What? <laughs> He been his mandatory for three plus years. What are you talking about? No, no, he hasn't. No, he hasn't. See, that's how. That's how you know he don't know what he's talking about. You don't follow, you don't know know about you don't he follow nothing. You don't follow <laughs> nothing. You fool. Callum Smith. Callum fucking Smith. <laughs> yeah, knock out. You were surprised. I see so you your understand. Face. He was the WBC <laughs> Diamond Champion, and the vacant belt got thrown in. He was not mandatory. That's why the. So it's long. Hold on. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Hold on. Hold on. So it's long. Hold on. Hold on. So as long as Canelo fights him before he retired. He oh didn't duck him. What the hell? What, what do you mean? If he turns around and fights him next year, are you going to say that he ducked him? I, was, well, I don't understand. I don't get that. Okay. So, no, 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 no. Just go to okay. box rate. Like, everybody, everybody, hold on. Everybody, everybody, hold on a second. So as long as Canelo fights him before his career is up, or if he fights him next year, if he fights him two years from now, as long, because you said he ain't retired, so he ain't ducked him yet. As long as Canelo fights him, at some point, then he didn't duck him. Yeah, no, I don't understand. Cool, 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 cool. cool. He's no never going to fight that man. No problem. No problem. Last, 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 last question. Last, last question. No, no problem. No problem. Last question. Last, last question. Last this question. Is crazy. This explain is very the, crazy. Explain to the people why you still call Earl Spencer duck for 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 the term carpet shit. What are you talking about? When, when so so knockout? When did I last say that he was a duck? Can you answer? Explain that? No, why can you answer that? Explain why <laughs> Earl said, said that for like two years. I said that for like two years. The floor is yours. 
I haven't said that for like two years. So did, but so you did, did Earl, say it though, right? Did Earl yes. Up Terrence Crawford? No. Oh, <laughs> but now you didn't say no. he did though. Now it's no. Because we wasn't waiting over, we was waiting over five years for this. How did? So what, was he jumping in the goddamn tree? No, 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 Get this nigga the nope. fuck. They wasn't waiting. How long? Hold on a second. Everybody hold oh, on. Go ahead, go ahead, knock. I'll go ahead. Go ahead. So did Earl Spence dump Terrence Crawford for four years? Hey, bro, I'm not on this mute team. You get me? If you're gonna do that, then you get me. You might as well fuck it off. He don't Zip know him up. Zip, <laughs> him up. Zip him up. Did <laughs> Earl Spence? No, you're not, you're not gonna. Hey, bro. I'm, hey, bro. Hey, knock out. Knock out. I'm telling, you that, I'm, I'm telling you that you're not gonna do this mutant thing yet. You're gonna show man some respect. You're, you're gonna answer the thing. question. No, no. You're, you're not gonna, gonna answer mutant. the question. I am. And I am. I am. I am. You're not gonna talk over me. Mutant stuff. You're not gonna do that. You talking about respect? You don't even know. How you gonna tell a man what to do? Everybody, everybody, hold on a second, bro. Everybody, stop. I'm gonna do it if you keep talking over me. When you hear me start talking, you wait and you respond. If you can't do that, you can dip, bro. I didn't ask you to come over here. Never have. You're always welcome. But if you're gonna come on here, when I ask questions, I steer the fucking conversation. When I ask questions, I'm in charge of what the fuck is going on. So you're I'm gonna, going you're to gonna respect you me doing that. You're gonna respect me like I respect you. You're gonna cut me. the I'm man off while you talk. I'm on no pussy. Then you can either answer the question. No or you cannot answer the question. He can't answer the question. Did Earl Spence duck Terrence Crawford for four years? I just told you that. No, I just told you that. No. So, so what are you talking about? So what point, what point you are you trying said, to make it? What, so what point are you trying so to make it? So you Spence? take back everything is, is you Errol said Spence about Terrence Crawford. Hold Errol on. Spence Hold Keith on. You, so you're taking back everything you said about Terrence Crawford and Earl Spence from 2021, 2022, and 2020. You take all that shit back. You didn't. You were wrong about all of that. No, I said I, I've told multiple people that Earl Spence is a dog. He proved us that he can step up to the plate and fight Terrence Crawford. I don't understand. Answer the so question. So he is a dog. Please. Well, also, so he is. is, is, is yo, yo, yo. Is there something wrong with you? Or what, or what? Is there something wrong? So with he you? is no, a dog. Something wrong with you? You're not answering the question. Bro, I'm not even talking, right? talking to you. Why are you talking to me? I'm not. He keep to trying to get smart. Why are you talking to me? We don't even want to talk about. I told you, yo, 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 yo. You can come off this YouTube and you can do me like a man. What the fuck? Is there something wrong with you? Or what? He ducked Terrence Crawford until he caught him. Pay attention. Bro, he bro, you're saying pay attention, but you're, you're, talking him, about, right? you're talking about Terrence Crawford and Errol Spence. I'm not talking about. He I don't know why Terrence you're talking about. <laughs> that, right? that, that fight is done. That fight is done. You so, you so, you so, you so far <laughs> lost. You don't even understand the correlation. Far off what? I don't want to talk about. You so Errol far lost. You don't even understand. I don't, you don't even understand. But the kid is the fucking point. And there you go again, talking over me. I'm gonna hit this mute button on you. It's not gonna happen. So Terrence, so Errol Spence dumped Terrence Crawford until he fought him, right? Bro, I'm not. You, I don't know why you're talking about Errol Spence and Crawford. <laughs> nah, you're you not going to answer. Oh the my god! Well, I just answered it for you. What? What? I don't get what you what you're talking about. My question. Errol Spence Crawford until he fought him. Did he duck Terrence Crawford for four years? I just told you no. You keep asking me the same question. So why did oh, you okay. say he was dumped? So why were you, so, so why were you oh, saying that? Oh my god. <laughs> Why were you saying that for four years then? If it's, see, uh, see, that's your problem, bro. And it's the problem you having with me. We could never. No, 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 <laughs> That's the problem that you have, Cass. Oh With Canelo Alvarez, you say he ain't ducking David Benavidez because we don't know if he ducked him or not until his career is over. But I listened to you for four years straight. Call Earl Spencer duck. You didn't give Earl Spence the same little 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 pass, little 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 leeway that you're willing to give Canelo Alvarez, bro. It's a clear contradiction. So if you like a motherfucker, if you're a fan of a motherfucker, you give him a pass. If you don't like a motherfucker, you on his helmet, you on his neck. So you can't even have this conversation because you're not consistent. You're a walking contradiction, bro. Can I say something, Nog up? Yeah, go ahead, bro. So now, I'm gonna bring, bring you back up. Try to be more respectful and try not to cut people off this time. 
Go ahead, ARP. So check this out. You realize they on the same promotion, right? That Al Heyman, he's not a dumb businessman. He's going to keep asking Canelo for the David Vettabides fight. When people be talking about Tank Duck and Devin or he's Duck and Shakur, they is not on the same promotion and they can't send Tank an offer anyway. So that twenty million dollars that they that they sent Tank, it was false. It was an Instagram live motherfucking deal. He never they Eddie Eddie Hearn never sent Tank nothing. He never did none of that behind the scenes. He never that was all a publicity stunt. It was all for clout. Now right, they, they, they now. Them now. Ben said that they was going to take the lowest momentum. Which is eight million dollars, I believe. I know five million. I, I, I mistake that. My bad. Five million, and motherfucker Canelo was getting a fifty-five to sixty million dollar plus just to fight David Benavidez, and that was going to be his highest pig, biggest payday. What else do you want, bro? I don't know three of Mugia opponents, but John Ryder, bro. He got forty some fights. Who has that man fought, bro? Please tell me, bro. He just right here talking about. Canelo is not ducking David Benavidez. Why are you asking for life change of money then? Because you know you're going to retire right after that fight, bro. That's all I wanted to say, bro. He's going to retire right after that fight. That's why he's demanding life change of money, bro. Uh, I got I got two things. It's like, now. With right, hold on, Anthony, let me, I got a couple of super chats, then you got it, man. Shout out to, uh, hold on, shout out to the homie Philly Rock. Two piece, no biscuit in the super chat. Philly in here, Dean, get him. GM in the building with the two piece, no biscuit in the super chat. Mandem said Mungia's, uh, he's a waste, man. And then shout out to Big Supreme with the two piece in the super chat. Man, deem uh, a blend, a blend. I don't know what that means, bro. Uh, GM back in the super chat with the two piece. This guy is jokes, fam. Allow it. Uh, then shout out to Big Supreme. <laughs> he talk about his avatar every day. Says, <laughs> man, them chatting think he running. And then shout out to GM back in the super chat with the five piece. Man, them a wee bit chatty in it, bruv. He talking bare shit out this mouth. I don't yes, even know. Yes, he is, GM. I don't even know what that means, bro. Are I you talking? understood you, GM. I, feel I don't like even know what you're saying, bro. <laughs> All right, y'all go ahead, man. Hey, y'all, can I ask y'all this question, y'all? This is my criteria. I don't like calling people names. Knockout know how I rock. That's why I came up here and talked about how he wasn't being consistent on what he said years ago. Knockout know how I feel about people doing what they say and saying what they do, period. It is why I can't let Earl get away with the Keith Thurman thing because you can't talk that heavy about it. I ain't never fighting that bum and all this, that, and the third, and then try to fight him. I'm not trying to hear it. Like, you can do it, but I'm going to hold you accountable for that. No, nah, I, dis I disagree with you on that. But no, I, 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 no, I feel you. I feel where you're coming yeah. from, Doc. I'm just saying, if I'm going to hold it should have been, it shouldn't have even been something that he said, though. Guess what though, knockout? I ain't telling the same, same way y'all got bill face with face. Dev and 40 mil bill. I ain't tell him to say it. But that's something that it's okay to go back on, on your word. No, like, no, see, this is my thing. Terrence Crawford, Terrence Crawford said he, he passed the Spence fight and he never wanted the Spence fight. I'm glad that motherfucker was lying and he fought him. No, what I'm saying, knockout from my just from this perspective of it, bro, is if I'm going to hold Crawford to that for him saying it. I have to hold Earl for him saying it because he said it with just as much bravado. And it could yeah, be but I'd rather what I'm saying yeah. to you, bro, and then you can give your criteria because I heard it on for none. I thought it was good. I let I let okay, everybody right, know. I was it, I it, know it, it, not. Right. Yeah, I heard it, but it, no, nah, but we ain't heard it over here. And some people that's maybe here that wasn't watching for none. So you can you can say it again. What I what I say about it is then I'm cool with cooking them. I just don't want to cook them and miss the fight. I'd rather just be like, damn, bro, you lied. You said you would never fight that nigga and you fought that nigga. But I got the fight though, so I don't give a fuck. Like I'll cook you for going back on your word or whatever. But right, but, but I agree the fight, the fight is something. Like if, you, if we just want to say, "Damn, Earl, you ain't keep your word. You ain't no fucking yeah, fight." Yeah, yeah, that's all. That's I'd rather him. It, like the lesser two evils to me is okay. You keep your word now. Don't get the fight, or you go back on your word now. Do get the fight. I'd rather you go back on your word now. Do get the fight. I'd rather criticize you for fighting Keith Thurman and going back on your word than criticize you. For keeping your word and never fucking fighting it. Cause th th all right, and I feel you on that because I actually agree with you on that, brother. That's that's I agree. Like, I'm never gonna complain if you give me a good fight. My thing is is teaching these fighters a lesson of being careful and being men on what you say. If you say you're not gonna do something, because that's why we rock with Earl knockout. So that's the caveat. The reason why we like Earl is because he keeps his word on what he says, he don't do what the other boxers do. 
So don't do what the other boxers do. That's my. That's just where I'm coming from. Yeah, that's, and that's why I said his integrity and shit is. But Gibson, I'm talking to you. You know, oh, motherfuckers dude. gonna be on here, even though we probably be like, shit, we are gonna give him a pass for it. Most motherfuckers gonna try to chew him out for that shit. But I just so, wanted to give y'all my criteria, y'all. Yeah, yeah, let's do it. So, so let's talk about that. We got like 20 minutes left on the show. Okay. Let's talk about a duck. What, like, Dean, let us know what's a duck in your mind, man. What What does the person have to do? Chat. We going we gonna come together. Let's all finally make a definition for what the fuck it means to duck somebody. Yes. Dean, let them know, let them know your your criteria that you came up with. Man. Now, Fanon told me that this wasn't these weren't. Oh, it wasn't a rule. But these are the five criteria that I got to make a rule. Mm -hmm. If you are, a, if you, if they, if the people want you to, the fighter that we're talking about you ducking. So X fighter versus Y, whoever we're talking about you ducking, if that is somebody that you can make the most money with, okay. If that's somebody that you can get the most credit and from legacy from, okay. That's available. If you don't have a promotional company issue. Okay. That's another one. If it's not a mandatory standing in the way that has been mandated by one of the sanctioned bodies that is um, uh, in the way of you making that fight, that is another one. And if, number five, if the public wants to see it, everybody is clamoring for it. Those are my five criterias to call somebody a duck. And I think all of them apply to Canelo Alvarez and David Benavides. <laughs> and this the other thing. <laughs> Facts. <laughs> Facts. Facts. <laughs> this the one the most important thing, because I got to be fair. All five have to apply. Three can't apply and two don't. Four can't apply and one don't. So if there's a promotional company issue, that's a problem. That's a real problem, right? Knockout. That's a real problem. No, nah, for real, Devin ain't in the pool. With More Diddy. money. Yeah. Frank Martin and, and, and the Shakur <laughs> thing that we was doing the, the other night. <laughs> <laughs> he about it I couldn't pool. believe that conversation either. <laughs> yeah, um, but those crazy. are my hey, five nah, nah, criteria, y'all. Cook... And I just want to get your thoughts and cook on that. What y'all think? I'm about to say. I was about to say, I, I got something to say too, but I was about to say on the, uh, on the last one you just said about the uh, promotion of the company, I don't know about that one because if they fight big enough and the people want to see it, they'll cross-promote. That's like, you know what I'm saying? Thank you. That's the next biggest fight other than Tank and Ryan. Yeah, hey, y'all, like, remember this. Remember this one thing. Is. All five have to apply. So I feel you like one can't. Oh, well, well, Adeem, it might be an issue with the... No, all five have to be in a row. They own the same promotional company. So what I'm saying is that part, not an issue. You dig what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I got all you. I'm five got to apply. If, I'm just saying, just say if Canelo was on goddamn PBC and David was on the goddamn... Uh, top the zone or something. Top or they, then that shit, then you saying that shit don't matter, nigga. Like yeah, because the fight big happen. enough to where well, that shit, that shit'll go down. It, it, they know the money'll be there for. It's just and it, but, but Antho, think about this. We know that that's true. If it's not Bob Arum, so that 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 matters until it's Bob Arum. Because if his fighter is not the A side, he don't care about nothing you just said, Antho. <laughs> yeah, I okay, can I ask a hypothetical? Can I ask a, a hypothetical? What yeah, about bro, yeah, yeah. Yeah. The conversation? So, Talk so, your so, shit. So yeah. listen, so listen, so listen. JD, so, just get in where you fit in, JD. We open right now, so just chime okay, in when you so want to. Bro. Go ahead. It's, it's strictly uh, about Canelo. Yo, so, 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 can right? so yeah, we can hear you. Yeah, yeah, yeah right. we can hear you. Chime in, chime in after so, uh, paid in full, paid in full. Go ahead. So listen, right, so we gonna just take Canelo. Okay, so we everybody was saying the PBC was broke. They ain't got the money. La 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 this, la 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 that. Okay, cool. They showed Canelo his money. They offered him three fights. He took one of the fights. Then they went back to negotiating with him, and they tried to enter somebody like a common denominator which we'll just say david benavidez this nigga left the pbc came <laughs> back to the pbc because nobody they don't got no money, money like pbc but then so who we think the common denominator is i don't think it had nothing to do with nobody else he just don't want to fight david benavidez bro that's the nigga that he's clearly running from because why my... why anytime they put him on a contract that nigga don't want no parts of it or he's leaving 
Facts. So I'm like, Peyton, 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 Y'all on the same promotion? And I'm too. like, it's and I'm like, what do you, what do you, what do you think, it's what do you think, paid in full, paid in full? What do you think about the uh the list that the Dean gave us? Say that one more time, now. What do you, what do you think about the list that Dean gave us? I, I had put it, I had stepped away for a minute. I ain't even hear what he said. Oh, all good, all good. Uh, JD, what's up, man? What up, man? I could tell you why. I could tell you a couple reasons why. All right, cool. So this is my criteria. You can't be short. You can't have cinnamon <laughs> hair. You can't be a drunk too. <laughs> your last name can't be Alvarez, nigga. Fuck out of here. <laughs> Yo, yeah. is crazy. Not to mention the motherfucking sanctioning bodies made a motherfucking belt for the bitch ass nigga, bro. Like, <laughs> man, that nigga, <laughs> WBC, crazy, we back to Nello. Hey, we back to Nello. That's what WBC. Hey, that nigga is. pussy, bro. We back. Hey, and then, yeah, I'm like Manilo. this, bro. The nigga really hey, could have made hey, a super. Hey, hold up. Hey, hold up. Hey, hold up. Canelo a bitch, bro. That nigga, <laughs> <laughs> oh God! Oh God! That nigga, that nigga, that nigga, that nigga is the softest Mexican man. That nigga, that nigga is chopped cheese, nigga. Two hundred mil is, is crazy, though. It's crazy. It, well, I'm going I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a keep it one hundred with y'all, bro. Like a lot of people try to, and and, and they try to take away from the conversation with um. Uh, with what Canelo has accomplished, what he has right. done in the sport of boxing, and I don't give a fuck about your past, bro. <laughs> Sorry, I'm always, I'm always, I'm all, I'm about what you're doing now, bro. Yeah, what you did. I'm, I'm about right. what things like. I don't care. Like you can't take away his resume or his accomplishments, but is he still demanding the high, high ass paydays? Yes. Do he still want me to spend my money to watch him fight? Yes. Do he still? Is he still an active champion in boxing? Yes. Okay. Then what's next, bro? And people yeah, get caught up on. Well, Canelo, you know, he did this, he did that. He can do whatever the hell he want. No, nah, bro, that we mm -hmm. not rocking. Don't work like that. And the crazy part about what? it, even even guess what? Hold on, hold on, hold on a second, bro. Hold on, hold on a second. I'm the same way with Terrence Crawford, Tank Davis, um, fucking Devin Haney, bro. I listen. If you are Dev Devin Haney and you beat Ryan Garcia, no problem. What's next? We getting Super Bowl tears? You whoop his ass. No problem. What's next? Tia Fimo, you whoop his ass. No problem. We're going to get the tank fight. If you tank Davis and you whoop Frank Martin, cool. You got Shakur next? You whoop right. his ass. Cool. You got Loma? You whoop his ass. Cool. You moving up to 140 fighting Devin? Like, bro, like, the shit that you did in the past don't mean shit. I ain't not, yeah, it's I always disagree. about what's next. Can you imagine this in any, in any other walk of life, in any other sport? On my day job, I'm like, well, she. I work hard yesterday, so I ain't doing shit today. They gonna be like, what are you talking about? about? Like, 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 like Serena Williams won one major Grand Slam tennis tournament. She's like, fuck it, I ain't gotta win no more. I ain't gotta win no more. I'm good. I ain't gotta win no more. Fuck it, I'm good. I'm straight. Like, get the fuck out of here. Y'all hear me? Yeah, I hear you, Chris. I'm um. I'm gonna let JD disagree with what I just said real quick, then I'm gonna pass it to you, Chris. Go ahead, JD. I disagree, and I'm gonna tell you why. Because mm -hmm. this bitch ass nigga is a cheater, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you keep calling him a bitch. You keep calling him a bitch. This, this bitch ass nigga, this bitch ass nigga, this little bitty bitch is such a cheating bitch ass nigga, right? That <laughs> it's such a snake ass cheating ass short bitch ass nigga i'm gonna right? get that yellow sign i'm gonna get that motherfucking yellow sign on my on my shit fucking with y'all they're gonna be Ooh, like uh, JD, yeah. they, they're gonna be like <laughs> ad, checking ads suitability with y'all god we damn. gotta check god. what ads is suitable for your <laughs> shit, man. God hey, yo, damn. Yo, 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 go ahead jd man shooter. shit i'm a straight shooter bro i'm sorry i'm tired of the bullshit he a bitch ass he a short conniving opportunistic bitch ass nigga bro and he he is ours Ours too, too short to box. But JD, time, what right? part you disagree with though? Yeah, what do you disagree with what I said? <laughs> he just cursing, yo, bro. He just cursing. He just spazzing, yo. Let me talk. Let me talk. Let me talk. Because he he's such he's such an opportunist that he took advantage of the WBC making it. Yeah. Uh. Uh. <laughs> no, for real. Don't don't think think I passed. How much can glutarol bro can take? 
Yeah, that's and great. Right I went over that, yeah. Champion, bro. bro, so I disagree with you because I will never on God's green earth give credit to a fucking drug chief. <laughs> I'm with it. I'm with it. Talk that shit, wait, man. Wait, hold on. I will never give credit to a drug cheat that couldn't knock out a 154 pounder. He's pussy, bro. He's a bitch, bro. And he oh, should have that. Then y'all gotta realize yeah. every time Canelo bro, stepped up in competition, bro, his fighters was older than him. Like, no, you, you 100% and right. Then, let me, let me, uh, yeah, let me get my homie Chris in here. But shout out to uh, Rolo. Rolo say, Pass does mean something, but it's about what you've done for me lately. Yeah, pass mean that I want to see what's next for you. So if your past is you beat this top motherfucker, then I want your future to be let me see you fight this other top motherfucker. If your past is you beat this other top dude, now I want to see you with this other top dude. If your past is then you keep losing, I don't want to see you fight no more. All your Talk past shit, does, all your past does is make me decide what I want to see from you next. If Tank go in that bitch and cook Frank Martin. That's gonna be in the past, but I'm be like, damn, I want to see what you do with Shakur. If Tank going that bitch and lose to Frank Martin, that's gonna be his past. But I'm be like, damn, I need to see you rematch this motherfucker that beat you. So your past do me um, shit. That ain't gonna happen. Hey, I'm all gone. Me, to me in boxing is what I want for you in the future, and it means what type of pay that you deserve to fight. That that's what the shit mean to me. So. I, you know what I'm saying? That, that, that That's what I think of it, bro. So I, I agree with that. Um, but the something that it means to me is all your past does is make me want to see what's next for you. So Shakur Stevenson's past. His Edwin De La Santo shit is in the past. That shit happened last year. But what I want to see from him next, the only thing I'm interested in, let me see what happened when you get another motherfucker with power and feet in front of you. I want to see how you handle it. Yeah. Yeah, nah, for real. All his past yeah. son has made me want to see what he can do with a motherfucker with power for real. They got feet for real the next time he fights. Because I got hey, KO, that's it. KO, that's I all. got a question. Bro. Before you ask, I though, question. I got to get. I got before you ask, I got to get Chris in here. Chris, what's up? Okay, for hey, sure. Look, for look. Sure. What's up with the chat, man? Look, chilling, bro, chilling. Driver, driver. Can I? Can I? Can I? What up? What up, driver? Look, look, look. Can I add some bonus? Criteria to to what Dean said, please. Absolutely, you can. You can, add, you can add your bonus. You can add your, your bonus criteria, but I got a, I got a, I got a sneaky suspicion you about to spaz out. So let me catch this this, this super chat real quick. Shout out, shout out to not me. With the, shout out, shout out to the homie, not me with the five P. Say, evil Mexico in it, bit Canelo. Let's go, uh, Hamito. Mungia for the much needed upset. Not me say you fucking tired of Canelo. <laughs> tired of Canelo. <laughs> All right, go ahead, go ahead, Chris. You got it now, bro. Yeah, like go my ahead. man Mark said, can I sing the song, please? My man Jerome, God, listen, <laughs> listen. I got, I got, I got some extra. Work. If you said you sent a contract oh, to somebody, shit. <laughs> and it wasn't. Oh, you ducking, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> you ducking. Uh, if, 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 if you that's number you six, wanna... Chris. That's number, number six. That's number <laughs> six. That's number six. Look, number seven is if you don't call Al, you duck. <laughs> if you want to fight Tank Davis, you hear this? You listen to Bill? If you want to fight Tank Davis and you don't call Al, but you, you know Floyd done. Mayweather personally, you <laughs> duck him. <laughs> you you, yeah. you duck him. If you used to train in a Floyd Mayweather gym, but you don't know how to get in contact with Al Heyman, you duck him. You are duck. That's number eight. That's number eight. Quiet, quiet. Keep going. Come on, man. <laughs> hey, KO, let me ask Come you this on, question, though. Like, or, or okay. dog done. Oh, no, no, that was hilarious. I don't, I don't know why y'all laughing. Like, we cooking on, we cooking Canelo fans today, but y'all oh, next. Hold on, hold on. Let, me ask, let me ask a question. John, you know you don't want this smoke. You better shut your ass up and sit in the back. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, you talking about smoke? I came here late. I, I mean, I, hey, y'all having a, a love fest up in here. Let me add some uh, violence to this. KO. Yeah, hold on, hold on, hold on a second. Hold on a second, hold on a second. 
Well, take your ass over there then, Cass. Take your ass over there, bro. Bye, nigga. Bye, bro. Go. Go over there then. If that's where it goes down at, if that's the real shit, go over there and get some of that real shit and get the fuck away from me, bro. Damn, dog. You crying like a little girl like the link ain't in the chat. Oh, he was emotional. Oh, fuck out of here, man. Ricky! What's the question? What's the question, uh, baby? Man, so so let me let me uh so I saw an interview come out today with Devin, bro. I, I I'm just saying, man. That nigga very, very, very fucking. Hold on, no, dog. That nigga that nigga, very bro. fucking respectful, bro. I ain't gonna lie. That motherfucking interview asked that nigga. He said, he what know about the time when AB jumped in the ring? They said they was trying to save you. That nigga said, uh, yeah, um. Yeah, I laughed or whatever, but then the nigga said, we got right back to sparring. But I ain't even going to talk about that. I want to focus on the Ryan shit. No, nigga, what happened to you? Talking about you beating oh, that, beat that nigga ass. Uh, oh, y'all don't care. Y'all don't care about what happened. Y'all, y'all don't want to Y'all don't want to hear Devin talk about I'll tell you what y'all really want. I know what y'all really want. John Norris, we don't want to hear you talk. Like, nah, we, I know what y'all really want. We got to get Mayweather on the internet so he can put this sparring tape on pay-per-view. I will pay I will pay $80 for the sparring tape on pay-per-view, Mayweather. If you listen to Mayweather, get the link right. You want what? Get the VHS right. I will, I will pay eighty dollars to see the full tape of the of the sparring footage. Here comes John Norrie with his boy muddy in the water. I don't see what the problem is. Y'all love three minutes. What is thirty six minutes? I bet that nigga won't say he beat Tank Davis ass again. I bet you he won't say. I would love to see the footage before I agree to any of that. Show the whole thing. Hey, hey, nah, you know, you know what? You know what, JD? Don't run, don't run from the smoke, JD. Don't run, JD. Hold on, hold on, everybody. J Nori, I 100, 1000 percent disagree with you. I don't know what the fuck I look like running from you, nigga. When we seen the proof. All I see Hold on. You've seen three minutes. Nigga, what proof, Negro? Nigga, going out. Jay Nori. Hold on, hold on, JD. Nigga, you seen two timeouts. What the fuck you talking about? JD, hold on, JD. Nah, hold on for a second. Nah, bro. JD, JD, JD. Oh, that's crazy. Hold on, man. JD, hold on. I had, to, I had to mute you, JD. You were going too hard. I was trying to tell Jay Nori something. Jay Nori. And then I bring you, you took yourself back off. You good, JD. So, Jay Nori, what I'm saying is, bro, I disagree with you wholeheartedly. I'd rather spend my eighty dollars on them fighting for real. Fuck that spawn. Absolutely. Fuck that I would too, but I don't believe they're ever gonna fight. So show us the damn footage. Why would you put those they, don't they don't want him to be <laughs> in the ring. Fight. I can't they put it on fight. tank because I don't believe Tank is in John charge Nora, of all that shit. And they you I, don't, I don't think they want him in the ring. I don't think they think they're gonna make enough money. They it's gonna, not worth they the risk. They're they not gonna fight. They not fight. They gonna fight. They not fight. They gonna fight. I'm telling you. Nah, nigga, Jay, just tell that nigga to keep that same energy. That's all I'm saying. If we got, they not fight. He he already a 140 fighter. We all know Javante hey, Davis Nori, fights at 135. They not fight. They gonna fight, John Nori. They gonna fight when Devin lose. If Devin don't lose, they ain't gonna never fight. When Devin lose, they gonna fight. I'm just nah, telling. You. I don't believe that either. I don't believe. Who you see Devin losing? Hey, 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 John Nori. Hey, hey, look, it's um, it's 1030. I gotta get ready to run, but I want to respond to Nick J and my homie Bullet. I want to respond to y'all real quick. I think that there is a disconnect that some of y'all have. With the with, with with the point that people are making, it's not about him not talking about tank or not addressing the sparring or oh now all of a sudden you want to see the whole sparring. That's not what it's about, bullet. That's not what it's about, Nick J. It's about Devin Haney and Bill Haney acting like the part that we saw never fucking happened. Exactly. Ding ding. That's the problem. The Flick problem is now that AKA. now that that part now that that part has come out. You don't hear them talking about, I stopped Tank Davis. I beat the shit out of Tank Davis. Yeah, Tank exactly. Davis. My point. You know, that, that, ain't the, that ain't the shit no more. Now exactly. it's some, now it's some, I was 16 years old. I was holding my thumb. <laughs> That's the problem. I was just a baby. I was 16 years old and I got the money. That's the problem. He said though. that shit today that too. Avoid the the that, That's the issue. It was it was never I was 16 years old and holding my own before that footage came Hold on, out. knock out so one. You leaving one out. Y'all, 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 y'all keep talking about y'all keep talking about one good round and sparring. Hold on, because this is much needed. 
Can't Go nobody ahead. stop Tank. Only Tank could top stop. Tank. Yeah. Like, like, did he, did he, so did he quit? Did he quit or not? Did a nigga quit or not? He did he quit? quit. Didn't make him quit. Did he, did, I don't want to hear about who made who quit. Did he quit or not? Talking about, bro. I was talking not now. Now you now you don't understand the English language. Did he quit? Yeah, yes or no? Hey, hey, look, did he quit? Hey, Bill Haney said he did. Y'all know, know I got my time constraint, bro. I gotta run. Uh -huh. I ain't, you know, I gotta yeah, I know. Man, Jay, no, it's stop. I get off at ten thirty every night. You know, you know we quit, bro. Stop, dog. Don't do me like I just got off the job. I had to come in and throw some chairs around real quick. We know that's what you do. You a tyrant. Shout out, say, that out to everybody that came through tonight. Shout out to the yeah, chat. It's filled with the sweaters, five pieces, different kinds of flavor and yeah. stuff. He said if old Manny was willing to go in there really and get crushed by EJ and Bud, we not giving Canelo a pass. Heck, okay. earned the right to duck smoke, but refused to do so. Big fact, bro. Shout out to not me with the two pieces in the super chat. He had to come back and correct me. He said, I didn't say Viva Mexico. He said, I said, fuck Canelo. <laughs> you didn't read it right. Damn, not me. <laughs> not me say he's done with that boy. Look, man, I appreciate all y'all coming to all the channel members. I will have the predictions up for y'all first thing in the morning. I already shot them. They'll be dropped first thing in the morning. Everybody came up and joined the panel. I appreciate y'all. Y'all go check out Dean by any means over on his channel. Go check appreciate out DJ and the Queens of the Boxing Ring. Go check out uh, D Free. He was in here earlier. G5 Gabe. Queen Queen was in here earlier. Zoom verse was in here. Everybody that got a channel, y'all go check them out. Go support their channel. Support their grind. I appreciate hey, y'all. And check I will catch y'all. Check out JD as well. He's he gonna get his channel started. So y'all go check all of them out. Salute to them. Y'all keep grinding. Let's keep pushing the sport of boxing forward. And I will see everybody Monday night at 7 30 p.m. Central Time. I'll all also right, be out Sunday morning at 9 a.m. Uh, I'll see y'all later. Oh, and shout out to my beautiful wife, Miss KO. I'm on the way, baby. I'll see y'all soon, man. Peace out.